Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. It is Steve Luckner with Agenda Free TV. We are here to cover the total solar eclipse that's coming up in Mexico, the United States, and Canada. Not all of those countries, but some parts of those countries will be able to see a total solar eclipse. The moon will completely block out the sun, at least for a few minutes, and then for a longer time, a partial, well, there will be, part of the sun will be obscured for a lot longer, maybe like a couple hours. So um, we are going to have live coverage today. We have live video coming up for you. Um, and uh, I believe the sun, as I understand it, it's less than an hour until the sun starts getting blocked in Mexico. So we're going to have some live video even before then. Um, so again, uh, the, the first sun starting to be blocked in Mexico, I think from what I read, is 12.51 p.m. East, Eastern time. So that's less than an hour until in Mexico the sun starts getting blocked. And then it'll be a total eclipse in Mexico, and then that total eclipse will kind of move across Mexico, the U.S., and Canada. I'll show you a map. I'll show you some uh, diagrams and stuff. Uh, I'll actually pull up right now just so I can have it up here, that map uh, of the timing of this thing. Um, but we're going to talk about it. We're going to watch it. We're going to be taking your comments and questions on the air. Uh, I am looking forward to uh, watching this with you guys. And... Let me just show you here. Get you a map here. Oops. Right here. Um, oops. There. Actually, that's a little... Let's open this in a new tab. So if you look at there... Uh, you can see that is how the solar eclipse, the total eclipse, is going to move across the United States. Now, if you're not in this band, you might be able to see a partial par part of the sun uh, blocked out. But that band there running through the United States, Canada, and Mexico is the total eclipse band. And you can see down here it says 1.20 p.m. Central Time. Here it says 1.35 p.m. Central Time. Uh, and then up here you have like 3.20 Eastern Time up here. Uh, you know, so several hours. It's going to be um, several hours of total eclipse moving across here. So we're going to bring you live coverage. Oh, I think I might have a little footage of people in Niagara Falls. Is this live? There's some tape I have. There's some video footage I have of people in Niagara Falls who are out there to see the eclipse. Oops, hold on. We want to go here. Ooh, I have to reset this. Hang on a second. Let me reset this. Then I can, then I can show you. All right, so I want to take your comments. I want to hear from you guys. We're going to be covering this live. Oops. Oh, I can't show you that right now. I can get that tape if I want to. We're going to have live footage soon anyway. So let's, um, let me, let me thank our moderators for being here. Uh, and what I should do is, uh, I think I should maybe put on the headline, solar eclipse begins in Mexico at 12.51 p.m. ET. I'm going to put that up. Because everybody's going to be asking about that. Uh, solar eclipse begins in Mexico at 12.51 p.m. ET. That is my understanding of when it begins. So now you can see it on your screen. Uh, Jenfa, 207 Jenfa says, here in Maine, it's gorgeous out. It's very pretty where I am. I'm in Boston, um, so I'm not going to, I'm going to be in here. 
and not outside. But in Boston, we're going to be getting like going to be able to see like a pretty good percentage of eclipse, but not the total eclipse. Uh, so like what is happening here, what I might do is like I'm, I don't want to look up at the sun. You do not want to look up. Don't look at the eclipse unless you have special glasses. You need special glasses to look at the eclipse, which we'll talk about. But what I'll do is like around the time of the eclipse here, I will not look up at the sun, but I will look out the window because it'll be darker here. But where, where I am, it's not going to be total eclipse. Okay. All right, so this is exciting. I'm very excited. And again, we are going to have live eclipse footage. I'm going to have live video for you uh, via Reuters and hopefully via AFP too. But definitely Reuters is going to be showing live eclipse video from multiple locations. So we're going to have live video for you. And I think I'm going to start getting some video in. Well, definitely by, by like 1245, definitely in like 45 minutes, maybe even in a half an hour. So again, live video of the eclipse coming to you, including video from Mexico, coming up, very excited, and uh, gonna be taking your comments on the year as well. Let's thank our moderators uh, 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 here before we get into this. Um, Kinetic, thank you Kinetic for moderating. Uh, Linda Belk and Larry on X. Uh, BZ is there. Uh, Queenful. And um, let's see, we also have over there on Twitch, we have modding. Uh, I got that fire in Papa Bear. So this is going to be several hours of eclipse coverage. No, we're not. We're not doing countdown clock. One reason I'm not doing countdown clock is I don't really have exact times for you. So I'm not going to do a countdown clock without exact times. Uh, I'm guessing that you guys are capable of looking at the headline where it says 12.51 p.m. Eastern Time and looking at the clock in the corner where it says 11.59 a.m. Eastern Time and doing the math. So no, we will not be doing countdown clock. It's not the, it's not the easiest thing for me to put up on the screen, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. Uh, around, I'm going to actually, I should say around because I don't even know the exact time. Solar eclipse begins in Mexico around. Okay, so you can do the math, just do the math yourselves. Uh, oops, sorry. Hey, thanks to uh, Margaret Riley, uh, who's moderating on Facebook, and uh, Kay Lowry Body. Uh, our viewer says, Jamie Rowland says, ours starts at around 149 and ends close to 3. So something to keep in mind is there's the total eclipse, which is the part of the time. The total eclipse, you can only see the total eclipse if you're in these areas. Oops. If you're in that band there, uh, you can only see the total eclipse if you're in that band, which stretches a little beyond the picture. Um, but if you're in that band, there's the total eclipse, which will only last possibly like a few minutes. You know, two, three minutes maybe, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. But you also have the whole process of the moon starting to move in front of the sun. Uh, and the whole process over which the, by which the moon moves in front of the sun and then blocks out the sun and then starts moving off the sun so you can see the sun again, that could take like a couple hours. So uh, the, just I, I remember there's a difference. It, it's, it, it's not just the, the, the sun. I'll sh I, I'll, I'll, I should show you a graphic of this. But it's not that the sun just disappears. The moon kind of gradually moves in front of the sun. So if you're somewhere out there watching the eclipse, one of our viewers said, uh, Wayward said, we get four minutes, 21 seconds. If you're outside watching it with your safe glasses, um, most of the time what you're seeing is going to be the moon moving in front of the sun or moving off the sun. And there'll be a few minutes there in the middle if you're in that band where you'll see the, the, the moon completely cover the sun. 
Queenful says, I'm in the path for totality. Looking forward to it. Hey, thanks, by the way, to Blake Myers for your support and our member, Carms. Um, so let's see here. Uh, I want to show you something. Yeah, like, look, this is a graph from, um, from, from NASA for some selected cities. So, for example, take Dallas. Now, I don't even know if people in Dallas are going to see this because there might be some clouds. So if it's cloudy, you, you can't see it if it's cloudy enough. But it, let's say you're in Dallas and it's not cloudy and you can see it. The totality, the totality, the time for, by, uh, in which the moon will completely black out the sun in Dallas is four minutes. But the partial eclipse is about two hours and 40 minutes, right? You know, in Buffalo, New York, the totality is four minutes. Uh, the moon will completely block the sun for four minutes, but the total amount of time the moon will be blocking some part of the sun is two, uh, two and a half hours. So, you know, it's not just the total eclipse. We'll be seeing uh, starting in about uh, 49 minutes, I believe, we'll start to see the sun start to get covered over in Mexico. And we will have video for you. Looking forward to bringing you video coverage of this. I should start getting some video around, I think, 1230 in about, and definitely by about 1245. And there was a good, there was a good video I wanted to show you here. Where is it here? Um, yes. Oh, this is this. No, that's not what I wanted. Here. This is a NASA video. If I can find it here. Why is it doing this? It's behaving all weird. My link wasn't working. Okay, so I want to go to blah, 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 blah. Gallery. What to expect? Read more. Eclipse map. Why can't I find? There's one video that I thought was really good to show you. And uh, just give me a second here because I want to find this. NASA has kind of some cool graphics on their site if you go to the NASA site. Uh, so you could, like they have this thing where you can choose where you can look at it from behind the moon. There's the moon. And there's Earth back there. This actually shows you there's moon, earth. Where's moon, earth, sun? Sun, earth, moon. So see, there's the sun. Sun here, moon here, earth here. So this, the, the moon is going to block the light coming from the sun towards earth. This is from NASA. They got a bunch of cool stuff on their, uh, on their uh, site if you go look at it. But there was something I wanted to show you there. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, this is like hard. I, I can't find the thing I want to show you. Ah, maybe it's here. I'm not going to worry about it. I can't even find it. Can't even find it now. They also have this thing, the Explorer. Eclipse Explorer. I want to show you this. So they have this thing on the NASA site, Eclipse Explorer. So you can go to um, here and you can kind of, you can, you can press play. 
you can move this thing around. Can I do that here? And it'll show you where the total eclipse will be at certain times. So what's going to happen is that's the total eclipse, uh, area of total eclipse. But what you can see is Ma Mazatlan, Mexico, right here. If I can zoom in here, where is it here? Uh, I'm going to zoom out here. This shows you where the total eclipse will be, I think, when. Yeah, that says 220 Eastern. So it's saying that the total eclipse will start in Mexico around 2 p.m. Eastern. And then the path takes it through Mexico this way, and then through Texas, San Antonio. For, well, San Antonio in there? They're right on the edge there. I don't know if they're technically in it, San Antonio. Maybe some of San Antonio is. Uh, and then... Uh, you go through here, there's Dallas is in there. If, 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 if there's clear skies uh, through some of Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, uh, Cleveland is in there, Niagara Falls, New York, uh, and then through some of northern New England, uh, New York, some of Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and then into Canada. That's called Eclipse Explorer. You can go mess around with that on the NASA site soon. Yes. We will be showing you a live stream from Mexico. We will be showing you a live stream from Mexico. Definitely. Um, excited to bring you that. Oh, hold on a second here. Is this what I was looking for? You know what's weird? I found a couple good NASA videos I was going to show you before, and it's like they're not working. They, I can't find them anymore. I wonder if they took them down. Uh, there were a couple of really cool NASA videos uh, I was watching like in the last couple days, and I was like, oh, I'm going to show them to the, to, the, uh, to, the, to the group, to the people watching. And it's like this, I, I don't know if they took them down or too many people are trying to access them, but the site isn't... Uh, it, there's, the site's not working. It's really kind of weird for any of them. Hey, let's, so, so, um, let me show you this. All right, so, it's 12.09. I would say in 20 to 30 minutes, I'll start getting some video from Mexico in, and we will be showing you that live video from Mexico. That's going to be the first place where the sun starts getting blocked out by the moon. Uh, Allison Casey says lots of traffic going north in New Hampshire. Uh, boy, if people are dry, well, let me, I can, I don't know, I don't know how well this is going to work. And what the traffic is normally like. Google Maps. So if we go up to there, oops, am I going to see a lot of traffic? I mean, the main roads aren't that bad. The main, I, I'm, I'm sure some local roads are really bad. Anyways, I took a quick look at it. Uh, I'm a little teacup, says Colorado here, and so far it's sunny and clear, 60% to 60 percent, um, 60 percent totality. I know, so, so, so I'm sorry about the videos. There's this weird thing with the videos for NASA. Uh, oh, actually, I wonder if they have them. Well, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's show you guys here. Okay, so this is an explanation from NASA of what you'll, what you'll see. Uh, total eclipse, what to expect. Deb R. says the main roads in Niagara Falls aren't bad because they closed them down. By the way, a total solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and earth, completely blocking the face of the sun. Uh... The sky will become dark as if it were dawn or dusk. 
people, uh, weather permitting, people along the path of totality will see the sun's corona or outer atmosphere, which is usually obscured by the bright face of the sun. What to expect when you're expecting a total solar eclipse? A total solar eclipse is the only type of solar eclipse where viewers can momentarily remove their eclipse glasses, which are not the same as regular sunglasses. It is only safe to remove your eclipse glasses during what's known as totality, which is short, the brief amount of time when the moon is completely blocking the sun. Otherwise, you must keep your glasses on. Uh, you need clear skies to have the full eclipse experience with a clear view of sun and the moon, uh, says NASA. However, the eerie daytime darkness uh, associated with eclipses is still noticeable even with cloud cover. This is the path of totality. People in this path will be able to see the total eclipse. Stages of a total eclipse. Stages of a total solar eclipse. Stage one, partial eclipse. Uh, by the way, you must not review, remove your eclipse glasses until the moon has completely covered the sun, the portion of the eclipse known as totality. If I was somewhere outside watching the total eclipse, I would be so paranoid about removing my glasses at the wrong time and hurting my eyes. I don't know if I'd do it. Anyways, um, as this is the partial eclipse. So this is when you'll see something like this when the moon is moving in front of the sun. Uh, NASA says, as the moon passes between the sun and the earth, at first it does not completely cover the sun. The sun appears to have a crescent shape. See in this picture of an eclipse, the moon here is partially covering the sun. Um, for most locations, the partial eclipse will last between 70 and 80 minutes. Again, for most locations, the stage where the moon is moving in front of the sun will last between 70 and 80 minutes. You must wear your eclipse glasses when viewing the sun during the partial eclipse phase. The moment when the moon first touches the sun is called first contact. Um, then it says, Ba Bailey's beads. As the moon, NASA says, as the moon continues to move across the sun, several points of light shine around the moon's, the moon's edges. Known as Bailey's beads, these are the light rays from the sun streaming through the valleys along the moon's horizon. Bailey's beads are very short-lived and may not last long enough to be noticeable to all observers of the, of the solar eclipse. I guess those are them right there. Diamond ring. See, you have like a ring shape, and then you have the bright spot, which looks like a diamond ring. Uh, Bailey's beads will begin to disappear until eventually only a single bright spot will remain along the edge of the moon's shadow. This bright spot resembles the diamond in a giant diamond ring formed by the rest of the sun's atmosphere. Totality is almost here, but keep those eclipse glasses on. And then totality. Once the diamond ring disappears and there's no longer any direct sunlight, you may remove your eclipse glasses and look at the total eclipse safely with the naked eye only for a short time. This moment is called second contact, says NASA. During totality, viewers may be able to see the chromosphere, a region of the solar atmosphere, appearing as a thin circle of pink around the moon, and the corona, the outer solar atmosphere, appearing as streams of white light. Be vigilant to protect your eyes and put your eclipse glasses back on before totality ends. Totality may only last a minute or two in some locations, says NASA. During totality, take a few seconds to observe the world around you. You may be able to see a 360 degree sunset. You may also be able to see some particularly bright stars or planets in the darkened sky that you normally can't see during the day because the sun is out and the sunlight is in the sky. Um, uh, the air temperature will drop and an often, an, often an eerie silence will settle around you. It also is worth stealing a peek at the people around you. Many people have a deep emotional response when the sun goes into totality. Then after a few minutes, Brightening reappears as the moon continues to move across the face of the sun. You will begin to see brightening on the opposite side from where the diamond ring shone at the beginning, 
says NASA. This is the lower atmosphere of the sun beginning to peek out from the moon, and it is your signal to stop looking directly at the eclipse. Make sure your eclipse glasses are black, back on, or you are otherwise watching the eclipse through a safe, indirect method before the first flash of sunlight appears around the edges of the moon. This moment is called third contact. So again, that's a summary from NASA of what to expect. But what we'll start seeing in about half an hour or so, 35 minutes, we're going to start seeing this happen in Mexico, where this, the moon starts moving across the face of the sun. Now, the sun is about 400 times larger than the moon. So you might say, well, how is it that the moon can block out the sun? Well, the moon is much closer. I think the moon is about 400 times closer than the sun is. Uh, so the moon is way closer to the earth than the sun. So even though the sun is way bigger than the moon, because the moon is closer, it can block out the sun. And by the way, um, the next time that there will be a total eclipse of the sun visible in the lower 48 U.S. states, so not Alaska and Hawaii, the next time there will be a total eclipse, not partial eclipse, total eclipse in the lower 48 states is the year 2044. So if you want to see a total eclipse in the United States, in the lower 48 states, you need to do it today or the next time you'll have this 2044. Ah, oh, wow, guys, we're getting there. We're getting closer to being able, we're going to shortly have some live video for you. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this. And uh, live video coming up from Mexico in multiple locations. We're going to have it for you. And uh, we're going to be taking your comments, your questions. Uh, you can give me a shout on X at Lookner. I want. I got to check my messages. Um, and uh, but short again. I, hopefully, I'm going to get some live video in about 15 minutes. All right, so that will be good. As soon as I have any of the live video, uh, oh, hold on a second. As soon as I have any of the live video, I will start showing that. By the way, I just saw this. The eclipse isn't the only thing. Oh, no. I thought they were going to talk about eclipse weather. Do they have eclipse weather posted? Here we go. Final update about this afternoon's total eclipse. Check it out from National Weather Service. Clouds will impact the view throughout much of the totality path, but high clouds from Texas to Ohio and in parts of New England may not completely obscure the eclipse. Oh, no, that's not great news. Stay safe and enjoy. Let's see what they say about the eclipse weather. Best chances for clear viewing. Most likely, the best chances for clear viewing are across northern New England, also possible from central Arkansas to southern Indiana, but this is an area of greater uncertainty due to the potential for high clouds, where clouds may impede viewing. From Texas into southern Arkansas and across Ohio, northwest Pennsylvania, and New York, Hmm. So some places are going to have, yeah, Kevin Graham says that's a bit unlucky. Some places are going to have some cloud cover, maybe too much cloud cover to see much of anything. So that is the update there from, uh, from uh, National Weather Service. A quick thanks to Debbie James for the gift membership. Choo Choo RT96. RT96 says three hours until totality in sunny Dayton, Ohio. I hope it stays sunny for you. Javier Lane, thank you. The Real P, thank you. Cloudy and rainy here in Oregon. Uh, like not much to see here anyway. I think I saw like 26% eclipse here, said The Real P. Schrodinger's cat says those pesky clouds. Does the eclipse affect the weather? I know it gets colder uh, when there's the total eclipse. Um, I 
think there's like a breeze. I was just showing you something about that. Hold on. It says here, for NASA, the air temperature will drop and often an eerie silence will settle around you. The air temperature will drop. That definitely happens. It gets, I don't know what happens with the wind. I forget about that. I have to look up that. Soon we will have live video. Uh, WCNC has an article here, and it says, it says, besides the darkness, the most noticeable change during a solar eclipse is the drop in air temperature. Without the heat of the sun, much like nightfall, temperatures can drop about 10 degrees on average during a, solar, lunar, during a total solar eclipse. As the temperatures drop, the winds will also lighten. This is similar to how winds typically behave in the evening. The winds can also change direction as much as 180 degrees. The complete reversal of wind direction is called the eclipse breeze. Once the sunlight starts to return, the winds will return to their original direction, and sometimes you can even blow stronger, can even blow stronger than when they were prior. That's from uh, WCNC. Uh, thanks so much to Allison Wilson and our new member Carter Holland. Um, waiting, uh, so it's 12.23 p.m. right now. In less than half an hour, in less than half an hour, in 28 minutes, 28 minutes until the partial solar eclipse begins in Mexico, in Mazatlan, Mexico, we are going to have live video coming up from Mexico, live video coming up. Just in, and hopefully in just a few minutes, we'll have some live video from Mexico. Ooh, what's this? No, we don't want that. Okay. So as soon as I have it here, I'm going to show it to you, and we'll bring you live video. Coming up very shortly. Uh... Our viewer newsmonger says, I watched a total solar eclipse off the coast of France on August 11th, 1999. It was spectacular and well worth the trip. Ticked off my bucket list. Thanks, newsmonger, for writing in. Daryl Supersad says, what time will the solar eclipse start and when will it finish? It depends on where you are. It happens at different times in different places. Um, and it's, there's the total eclipse when the moon is completely cut, when the sun is completely covered and the partial eclipse when it starts to be covered. So for example, just as an example here, Ooh, hold on. You know what's weird? I, I, I think too many people are accessing things. I just tried to get, a, there was another thing I wanted to show you, which was a map, um, which showed different uh, portions of the country, how, what percentage of the eclipse they will see. And that map isn't working either. So I think certain resources online, maybe like too many people are trying to access them because there's, there's a couple of maps I had saved the links to and I've looked at multiple times and I just tried to go to them and it, it literally doesn't work. Um, but I'll get you that thing about the times, but, but it's, it's, that's a little frustrating. And it's not just all NASA stuff. There's a couple different things I want to show you and the, just the sites aren't working. So I wonder if like everyone is trying to access these things and they just can't handle the traffic.
Yeah, so as an example, these are some times for some U.S. cities. Uh, Dallas, partial eclipse begins at 123 Eastern. Caribou, Maine, it begins at 222 Eastern. Uh, it's 1226. Very shortly, I should start getting some live video in. As soon as I have any of the live video, ooh, is this live? Hang on, guys. Hang on. Hang on a moment. I'm about to, I'm about to get a, a couple live things in here. I think I'm going to have some live video from Niagara Falls, too, where people are gathering. Uh, Lori says, very cloudy in Dallas. Somebody mentioned the Explorer. Um, so, for example, hold on. Okay, there's a really neat thing. There's a neat thing on the NASA website, which one of our viewers mentioned this, thanks to the viewer. It's called Eclipse Explorer, and you can put in your zip code. So somebody asked about San Diego, so I put in a San Diego zip code, and it said in San Diego, you can see 54.4% of the uh, coverage, max coverage, time to max eclipse, and it gives you a time. So if you're in New York, 10019, that's New York City, it says you can see 90% of max coverage. Um, and it says time to max eclipse eclipse 025709. And it, it shows you what the what the what what it'll look like at different times of day. So I'll actually post a link to this page, but you can go to the Eclipse Explorer and put in your zip code, and it'll tell you how much of the eclipse you'll get to see, what the time is, the timing is, and all that stuff. Um, so I'm gonna actually post the link to this. Uh, Eclipse Explorer, and you can look it up yourself. I just posted the link in the chat to the Eclipse Explorer. But you can just, you can look up for like, you know, any zip code. Uh, uh, what, uh, you look up, you put your zip code and it tells you about how the eclipse is going to be in, in your area. Oh, hold on. I have some video in a second. Not of the sun yet, but I do have some video. Give me a moment. Very shortly, I'll get Mexico video. But I do have right now, I have right now, guys. Is this working? Yes, it is. Uh, Niagara Falls video. This is Niagara Falls Live. Those are people in Niagara Falls, New York. That's live video from AFP and they have gathered to watch the eclipse. Now, I don't know if it looks, I don't know if that's, if it's cloudy there, or you're just seeing like mist from the waterfall or what? But that is Niagara Falls, New York. That's a live shot right there. Yes, in Niagara Falls, it is cloudy right now in Niagara Falls. It is cloudy, I just confirmed with Google Weather. So again, that is in Niagara Falls, New York. That is a live shot there of people who are gathered to see the eclipse. I hope they get to see it, and it's not too cloudy. And very shortly, we should start getting some Mexico, uh, some Mexico live video. I'm really bummed that uh, a couple of the maps I really wanted to use, they're not working right now. And again, I think too many people are trying to access these resources. Oh, I wonder if I could do this. Hang on a second here. I might be able to do something else though. Hold on, I, ha I have an idea. Uh, that didn't work. Did it work?
Mir bietet. I'm trying to use, it's not working. I was trying to use like the Internet Archive to go back, like way back machine and grab a copy of the map from before. Before those sites didn't st stop working. Oh, hold on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on a moment. Hang on a moment. Hang on a moment. Okay, I have a live shot for you coming up. Hang on a moment. Hang on one moment. Okay, let me get, I'm starting to get some live video in. I think this might be from Mexico. Give me one moment, everyone. Give me one moment. I have a video of from, I don't, I don't even know what they're showing yet. Oh, this is from Mexico. I, just, I have a live video from Mexico coming at you in a moment. I'm about to get it on the screen here for you. So just hang tight. Just hang tight, guys. We are about to start our live video coverage right now. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. There it is. This is live video from Mexico. Live video from Torreon, Mexico. That is in Torreon, Mexico. You are looking at the sky. Uh, Torreon, Mexico is, that's like the middle of Mexico. Oh, um, so that's not, that's, that's a little bit more inland than Mazatlan is. Or Torreon, Torreon, Mexico. It has, it has not started yet, by the way. The eclipse has not started. Let me show you where we're looking at so you guys can see. So Torreon, Mexico is right here. But the first place that's going to see it is like the first places are on the coast here, like around Mazatlan. So maybe we'll get some video from Mazatlan. But Torreon is here. That's what you're looking at right now. Uh, it's more the middle of Mexico. Anyways, let me turn the s sound off there. So that is a video from Torreon, Mexico. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, and I have that video of people hanging out in Niagara Falls. Uh, it's, not that, it's, not, it's not that interesting of a video yet. I'm looking out, but we're, we're going to have video from, oh yes, Reuters will have video from Mazatlan, Mexico. That's what Reuters says. So shortly we should be getting some video from Mazat, Mazatlan, Mexico, uh, which, uh, which will be one, like the first place to, one of the first places to have the sun start getting blocked out. And the sun is going to start getting blocked out in Mazatlan in about 15 minutes. This a little in here. All right. So we're going to keep an eye. We're going to be bringing you live video coverage. But that is Torreon, Mexico you're looking at right now. Not much to look at there. Oh, you know what, though? It's cloudy there. So this, I mean, some of you were probably saying this, but this gives you an example of like, you can be somewhere, but if it's cloudy, you can't see that much. So this is in Mexico, uh, in 
Torreon, Torreon, Mexico. Oh, there's an, the O is accented. I'm sorry. I don't have it accented on my... I uh, wonder if I can do this here. Maybe I can. Maybe I can accent the O. But this just shows you... There it is. I accented the O. Uh, this just shows you what can happen if you're out watching the eclipse but you get clouds, right? If people in Torreon, Mexico, if they look up in the sky, this is what they see right now. So maybe it'll clear out uh, a little bit by the time the sun comes by, but I don't know. Now, Torreon, when is it supposed to start there? I'm looking it up. A bunch of websites. I went to this other website, this Eclipse website, and that didn't work. I think people are like all trying to get information online. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. But that is, again, you're looking at Torreon, a city in Mexico, and you can see it's cloudy there. All right, hang on a moment. Uh, the National Weather Service just posted this. They said today's total solar eclipse actually begins across the East Central Pacific Ocean. You can now just start to see the outline of the moon on satellite entering the frame at the end of the loop. Where? Oh, here. So look over, look down here. Okay, so... They're talking about at the end, I think they're saying, am I right here? No. Maybe they're saying right around, is it here where the moon outline is? Because it's going to be moving across this way. It's going to be moving across this way. So I think they're saying that maybe you start seeing the moon. It's somewhere in here. I, I can't really see, though. They saying entering the frame at the end of the loop. Maybe maybe the dark down here. See how it gets darker right at the end, there, right there. Right at the end of the loop, it gets dark here. I think that's what they're saying. I'm not sure though, but I think that's what they're saying. All right, let's go back and check out the view from Mexico. Now, hold on one second here. MacMan says, looks like a shadow in the last frame. Oops, uh, let's go back to the video. Let's go back to the live video. There, that is live video from Torreon, Mexico. The eclipse has not started. Um, in 11 minutes, oh, what's that? Hold on, that is, we have some new video. Where is that at? Huh, is that Mazatlan? Maybe it's Mazatlan? Hold on, what's going on? Why am I hearing something? I'm hearing something. Oh, there's music on that. What am I hearing? Where is that music coming from? I need to get rid of the music. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm hearing music and I don't want to be hearing music. So I need to, feel, I need to figure out where am I hearing music coming from? There is music coming on. There's something that's playing music that I'm watching. 
that I need to turn off. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. Hey, thanks to Diane Allworth and Lori Hawkins for the Facebook stars. Give me a moment. I got to figure out where that's coming from. I don't like hearing that. I'm going to get you video in a second. Oh, maybe it was there. Nope. Where is that coming from? It's so weird. It's like one of the videos or something. Is this it? Let's see. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. Yes. Okay. It's on the video, but you guys can't hear it. All right. I got, I got it, guys. We're, we're good to go. We're good to go. Okay. I have new video for you guys. New video from Mazatlan, Mexico. Uh, we got video coming up from Mazatlan, Mexico right now. This is Mazatlan. It's sunny there. Oh, this is great. Okay, good. This is Mazatlan. Guys, this is where the eclipse is going to start in Mexico. Live video from Mazatlan right there. So Mazatlan is on the western coast of Mexico. That is live video. I can't play the sound right there because they're playing music and I can't play copyrighted music. But if I could play the sound, you'd hear music. But that is live video. And what I like there, as you can see people on the beach, is it's clear sky, it looks like. So at some point, we'll be able to see the sky from there. Live video from Mazatlan right there. You are looking at it. Uh, and uh, solar eclipse will start to begin there in about eight minutes. All right, I'm, ex I'm excited. I'm excited. We're going to be bringing you live video, taking your comments, bringing you updates. Hey, thanks to Kay Rando for your support. Thanks to Katie Girl for the gift memberships. Let's see if I have any updates for you. But that is good news that it looks to be sunny in Mazatlan, Mexico. Uh, BNO News reports that there has been a recall on bikini solar eclipse glasses, which were sold on Amazon and in stores. If you have them, don't use them to watch the eclipse. So you can go to at BNO News on X and read about that. Oops, no. Did it go back? Hold on, I have a couple things here. Did they go back? Okay, that's Torreon. All right, that's Torreon, Mexico, right there. Let me get both things up. Hang on. I, I got to get organized here. All right. So that right there is Torreon, Mexico. That's not Mazatlan, Mexico. They switched back and forth. Which one do I want to have where? Or maybe it is Mazatlan. Is that Mazatlan? Uh, oh, I was a little confusing as to what we're looking at right now. Um, yes, this is Mazatlan. This is Mazatlan. I just confirmed it. You are looking at a live shot right here. Oh, that's also Mazatlan. But that, that is, we were just looking at Mazatlan. And we're still looking at Mazatlan. Yes. So this feed is going back and forth between people on the beach at Mazatlan and the sun. So when it goes to the sun, it is Mazatlan. Uh, and in about six minutes there, the moon is supposed to, start, start, supposed to start covering the sun. So Mazatlan is right here. Mazatlan is here. It's on the western coast of Mexico. That's where they're going to start seeing this, the moon covering the sun. And they'll, they'll see a total eclipse eventually there, and it'll move across towards the... Um, where's the map here? Here. So yeah, there's Mazatlan is down here. So they'll start seeing the total eclipse there, and then it'll, it'll move on this path to the northeast. 
All right, that is a live shot from Mazatlan, Mexico. Now, you might say, why is the sky black? My guess is that the camera person probably has some sort of filter on the camera. That would be my guess. Oh, it has an accent. Well, see, now the, uh, it, Reuters didn't have an accent on it, but Wikipedia has an accent on it. So is it Mazatlan? Is there an accent on Ma Mazatlan? Because Reuters did not have an accent on it. Does Google have an accent on it? No, Google doesn't have an accent on it either. Oh, no, they do. It's weird. So it looks like Mazatlan has an accent on it, which would be Mazatlan. Let me let me let me change it there. Oops. There, I put the accent on it. Sorry, it was confusing. Some places there's no accent. So Mazatlan with the accent on the last syllable. Thanks. Some people were mentioning that in the chat. It's weird. Some of the places I see it, it, it doesn't have the accent on it. But okay. Mazatlan. This is exciting. Um, in three minutes, we should start seeing the moon cover the sun from there. All right. So just in a couple minutes, we should. That is a live shot of the sun from Maz Mazatlan. Uh, by the way. Um, NASA said that in a post on X, NASA said uh, a phone sensor could be damaged just like any other image sensor if it's pointed directly at the sun. This is especially true if you're using any sort of magnifying lens or attachment on the phone. You would need to utilize the proper filters just like on any other camera. So, but although also you're, you're not supposed to look at an eclipse with your, without proper eye protection. There's special eclipse glasses you can wear. Um, so, so, but my, what I'm thinking is happening here is when you see that shot of the sun, they're going back and forth between people on the ground in the sun in Mazatlan. In Mazatlan. Um, my guess is that it's a camera with a filter on it because obviously the sky is not black now. Um, so the solar eclipse is about to begin in Mexico in, Mazat in Mazatlan in about two minutes. In two minutes, um, we should start seeing on that live shot um, we should start seeing the, uh, the moon start to move across the sun. Wow. All right, it's 12.50, so in about one minute or so, we should start being able to see the moon starting to obscure the sun, but it'll be very small at first. Uh, I think it could take around 70 minutes. So, they, so, so very soon we'll start to see the, the part of that sun darken on the side. It hasn't yet, but we're keeping our eyes on it. That is a live shot of the sun from Mazatlan, Mexico. All right, it's 1251. I think, I think it's just, I'm going to wait until like a couple seconds here, but I'm about to switch my headline to solar eclipse begins in Mexico. I mean, once we get to 1252, I know it's begun. So.
They keep going back and forth on their, on their camera. Cameras. All right. I think it's safe to say that the solar eclipse has begun. Even though it's probably very, very, very hard to see. Because we've hit the time when scientists say that the moon is starting to obscure the sun in Mexico. So let's let's see when they go back to that wide when they go back to the sun shot. Let's see what we see there. I want them to just stay on the sun shot. I can't control the camera angles, but I want them to just stay on the the this is where people are watching it. Wow. It'll be very cool when we start to see the first little bit of that sun obscured by the moon there. Uh, our viewer, Eddie Martin, says zero clouds here in southern Wisconsin, supposed to see 90 percent. This is in western Mexico. Maybe I'll make the headline a little bigger. It feels a little small right now. But it, yes, the solar eclipse has begun in Mexico, but we... Oh, can we see it right on the... Is it on the top right? Can you see it on the top right there, guys? Look at the top right. The top right. I think I can see it. See it? You can see it. There it is. Oh, it, it has begun in Mexico. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. There it is. It has begun. Wow. Uh, give me one moment here. I don't know why they're going to these people. Stay, stay on the shot of the sun. They'll go back to the sun in a second. I can't control the camera angle. So give them a second, guys. And uh, give them a second and they'll go back to it. I got to wait till they go back to, back, back to it. There it is, guys. Look at that. That is the sun in Mazatlan, Mexico. In Mazatlan, Mexico. In, in Mazatlan, Mexico. You can see the moon is starting to creep across the sun there. Um, if you're somewhere else, if you're in the United States, um, you might see something, something like this in the coming minutes, hours. You'll see something like this. But that is what they're seeing in uh Mazatlan, Mexico right now. That is a live shot. Wow. Look at that. Is there still music on this? Oh, there's, there's, there's natural sound. No music. Hold on. I have sound. We got sound from Mazatlan. Excelente. Hay que recordarles que en la parte derecha, sobre la banqueta del malecón, hay un área de observación pública con telescopios. ¿Vale? Entonces, las personas que están por allá, que se van uniendo, incluso ustedes también, Se pueden mover para allá, pueden eh, acceder ahí con nuestros voluntarios para que puedan observar con el telescopio. A través de hey, give me one second. I'm just fixing the headline here. But we got live video for you. Es muy importante recordarles que a las 11.07 vamos a vivir la totalidad. 
Entonces es la parte más interesante. Uh, uh. Vayan tomándolo con calma. Uh, let me read some comments from you guys as we're waiting to see more of this eclipse from Mazatlan, Mexico. This is exciting. No sound? I like having the sound. I want to hear the people there. I can turn it down a little bit, but I think it's better with the sound. Wow, there it is. Uh, you can definitely see it now, guys. So it takes about 70 minutes for it, this for it to get completely across. Yeah, people, people like the sound. We're, we have the sound on. We're keeping the sound on. This is pretty cool. Uh, Alan says, ready to see the eclipse in southern Indiana. Our viewer Alan sent this in. He's in southern Indiana. He's ready to see it in southern Indiana. Thanks, Alan. Yeah, Phillips just mentioned the NASA stream. We might show you a little of the NASA stream too at some point. But we're we're watching it live right now. This is the live eclipse from Mazatlan, Mexico. Hey, thanks to Boz for your support. Also, thanks to Bath Chakama for your support and Justin Rochkin and our new member UV Lightning and D's Ends. Thank you. Look at that. Look at that. There it is. There it is. That is a live shot from Mazatlan, Mexico. Incredible. Muchas gracias, David. Gracias, Chris. Continuamos ahora con un vals cósmico. Ustedes lo recordarán de la película Dos Títulos, Odisea en el Espacio. Uh, our viewer, K, K Flu, says we're getting ready to watch in hours here in Maine. I'm glad it's uh, I'm glad it's sunny there because some places it's not going to be sunny. So I'm glad I'm glad at least here for the first part of it we got we got some clear skies. Lorena says exciting. Big thanks to our moderators. Thanks Desi Des. Appreciate it Desi Des. Thank you. Uh, thanks to our moderators. Ruth Crafasi is moderating. Al Star, Lyra Stars. Linda Belk and Larry, thank you so much for moderating. All of our moderators, RJ. Oh my gosh, look at that, it's incredible. Uh, we got, uh, oh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta kill the sound now. I can't play the music, I can't play the music. I gotta turn the sound off for a second. They're playing this music. So we're, we're, we're turning the sound off for a second. Um, there it is, wow. Uh, thanks to uh, Daily Disclosure, I got that fire. McBritches moderating on Twitch, Sarah Popper Bear and Surly Dev. Uh, Kay Lowry Body moderating on Facebook. By the way, thanks for the Facebook stars, Brian Stroman and Denise Michelle. Thanks so much. Kay uh, Lowry Body, Margaret Riley moderating over there on Facebook right now. Really appreciate it. Thanks also for your support on Twitch, Mr. Society, uh, Zaloxo, uh, Spicy Curry, Annie Kush, Dead Draw Todd, Aloha Charles, um, Wall Street, Des Desi, thank you for your support on Twitch. Um, so, I'll turn the sound back on when they stop playing the music. I can't have the music on. Let's see if the music's back on. Yeah, I got I got to hold off while they're playing the music. 
Wow. Uh, so we're going to have, we have live video for you from Mexico. We're going to have live video from multiple locations in the United States. Oh, I just got something here. Totality begins there. At, okay, the totality begins in uh, one hour and six minutes. There's a two, there's a, there's a one hour and six minutes. Um, so totality is at 2.07 um, Eastern time. in like an hour in Mexico. So let me actually shrink the headline now. So solar eclipse begins in Mexico. Totality, which is when the sun is completely covered, is at 2.07 p.m. Eastern time in Mazatlan. And it'll last for about four minutes there. And it'll begin later at different parts of the U.S. So, but I just saw that information right now. So we have about an hour, an hour and four minutes until, hang on a second, about an hour and four minutes until in Mazatlan, they see, which is the first, you know, significant size city to have the totality. They will have it there um, in an hour and four minutes. And you might say, that's a long time. Well, it takes about 70 to 80 minutes for that moon to make its way across to completely cover the sun. Every time they go to this shot, I want them to just go back to the, to the, uh, to the other shot because I like seeing the other shot better. I'll check and see if the music's off so we can maybe have the sound again. Now, they're playing this loud music. I can't play the copyrighted music. Uh, let's see. I know some of you guys are out there uh, watching it. Uh, thanks. Oh, oh, look, there it is. There it is. Thank you, Vegas Raiders. Yeah, Vegas Raiders. Uh, Vegas Raiders, I already mentioned that on the show. BNO News posted that one brand of Eclipse glasses. They had a recall. You can go to at BNO News on X to read about that. Thanks, Vegas Raiders. Thanks, Carolyn from Australia and Sunshine in Arizona and Blissy and Sabrina over there on YouTube for your support. Look at that. Wow. Nice shot there. I, I, a lot of people have said this, but it really is true. I mean, just think of when people didn't understand the science behind this and, you know, didn't know that, in, that you know, it's the moon coming in front of the sun. Uh, what did people for a lot of human history think when they saw this? It, it's, it, 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 to me, it's just so freaky to see it, even knowing the scientific explanation for what's happening. But imagine that, you had no idea it was coming, and one day it just happened. Jack says that would be pretty frightening. Uh, Mike Patrek says, Ugh, clouds are rolling into my area. The National Weather Service did say that a bunch of places in the U.S. on the path of totality um, are going to have cloud coverage. So uh, a bunch of the U.S. spots supposedly could have some issues with cloud cover today. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Violet Sterling says it had to freak people out when they saw this. Again, it's freaky now. I, I've never seen... Um, it must be really cool to... you know. Some of you are going to be out there today um, where you're actually going to be in a place where you can look up and see this. And remember, you're only you're always supposed to have your eclipse glasses on when looking. Uh, the only time NASA says that you're allowed that you're supposed that you're it's okay to look at it 
directly at it is if you're at a place where there's a total eclipse and just in that short time when there's a totality going on, when the total eclipse is going on, just a couple of minutes. They say, uh, NASA said um, on their site, they said, uh, be vigilant to protect your eyes. And if you have your glasses off to see the total eclipse, put the eclipse glasses back on before totality ends. Totality may only last a minute or two in some locations. Um, but if supposedly if you're somewhere where this is happening, like some of you are today, and the totality happens, and, and even with your glasses on, you look up at it and you see the sun completely blocked out, that can be a really powerful experience for people. Uh, and NASA did say on their site, they said, um, they said during totality, take a few seconds to observe the world around you. They said, um, it is worth stealing a, a, a peek at, at the people around you. Many people have a deep emotional response when the sun goes into totality. I mean, even just sitting here and looking at on my screen and seeing that is pretty incredible. Hey, thanks so much to Shaf for the gift memberships. Thanks to Jay Spike. Jay Spike says the ancient Babylonians thought an eclipse meant the king was going to die. I can't confirm that, but I would not be surprised if people thought stuff like that. Thanks to Merps MC for your support. Just incredible, that video. You can see there's some kind of cloud cover going on there, uh, but it's not obscuring the sun from that camera, that Reuters camera. Very, very, very cool. We have 59 minutes until that moon completely covers the sun there. Now, something to keep an eye on is when they go back and forth between the shot of this and the shot of the beach area, that beach shot is going to look a lot darker at uh, that shot right there. That's going to be a lot darker in an hour because that is Mazatlan where people are looking are there. Some of them are looking. Some of them have their eclipse glasses on. Wow, this is exciting. Thanks, Berenico, by the way. Thanks also for, to, uh, for your support, Brian Stroman. Thank you so much, Brian. Really appreciate that. Also, thanks to uh, Vicki Healy. Vicki says this is very exciting. I'm excited. James says this is amazing. So we got lots of coverage coming for you today of the eclipse. Look at this. Ugh. Every time I see this shot, I get excited. It's incredible. Do we still have the music? Let's see. Yeah, I can't play the music. I'm sorry, guys. They're playing all this music there. I can't play the copyrighted music. Uh, totality is in 58 minutes in Mazatlan, Mexico. 58 minutes. Now, they're going to be switching back and forth. So we're going to have a camera from Oklahoma coming up. We got a camera in Oklahoma they're going to show. Uh, where else are they going to have cameras in? I don't know if Oklahoma will see it that well. NASA is live, too, for those who want to watch it. Okay, they're going to have a camera in Fredericksburg, Texas, Arlington, Texas, Millerton, Oklahoma, Indianapolis, Indiana, and Niagara Falls, New York. All of those cameras Reuters is going to have. And then I might get some from AFP as well. When is, they said they're going to have one in Texas. Uh, when is the, like Dallas, Texas, their eclipse is supposed to start in Dallas at, um, partial eclipse in Dallas starts, wow, in Dallas, the partial eclipse starts in 13 minutes, okay? So in, in Dallas, in 13 minutes, according to NASA, you're going to start seeing this, but you're not, you're, it's going to start from the beginning. 
Oh, thanks, Eddie Smith. I appreciate that, Eddie. Thank you. All right. So things are going to ramp up in the U.S. If I, I don't know in Dallas what the weather is like right now. I'm going to check the weather now. But Dallas weather is cloudy. So I don't know what they're going to see in Dallas. Uh, uh, sorry, our viewer says, uh, one of our viewers says Dallas Overcast. Let me just check something out here. Let me check something out right here. It's not overcast in Mazatlan, Mexico. Okay, uh, I'll keep an eye out. Uh, Acer is in Dallas, Fort Worth. Land Mom says Dallas, e I Am Mom says Dallas is clearing up. I'll keep an eye out for other video as well, that if I can get any other video for you. But right now, this is the best one I have for you. This is the one from Mazatlan, Mexico. This is nice. It's nice out there. It's going to get much darker there. Uh, you can see it's clear there now, pretty much. But it is going to get darker there uh, as more of the sun gets covered. And in about 54 minutes there in Mazatlan, Mazatlan, it's going to be totality. Wow. It's happening, guys. It is happening. Amy Cluck says, I think R starts at 1220 in the panhandle of Texas. Uh, according to uh, NASA... They say that in Dallas, it starts in 10 minutes. They say that in Idabel, Oklahoma, it will start in 15 minutes. In Little Rock, Arkansas, it'll start in 20 minutes. In Paducah, Kentucky, it'll start in about a half an hour. Uh, in Buffalo, New York, it will start in 51 minutes. In Burlington, Vermont, it'll start in about an hour. In Caribou, Maine, it'll start in about an hour and 10 minutes. So it's going to be starting in the U.S. in the coming minutes. Over the next hour, a little longer than an hour, it's going to start in various places in the U.S., but some of them, unfortunately, are going to be obscured, going to have their view obscured by clouds. I'm going to post a link again where you can look up. There is a tool that they have on NASA site called Eclipse Explorer, and you can put in a zip code. Like if you put in 10019 for New York City, it'll tell you what the max percent of the eclipse is, time to max eclipse, and when everything will start. So you just put in your zip code. So I'm going to post a link to the Eclipse Explorer in the chat right now, and you can go look up for your area when everything, uh, the timing is. So I just posted that link in the chat, and you can go to the Eclipse Explorer and type in a zip code, and you can look up and get information about your area. Danielle says she couldn't get glasses. There it is. So we, we have... Um, 48 minutes, no, I'm sorry, 52 minutes in Mazatlan, Mazatlan until totality. You are looking live there. Oops, sorry, you were looking live until I did that. Now you're looking live at it. Wow. Uh-oh, hold on. Uh, what do I have to do is... Thanks to Amy Cluck for the Facebook stars, by the way. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, Peas in a Pod says many places gave out glasses for free. So where I am in Boston, what I'm going to do is when it gets darker here, we're going to get like I think around 90% 
eclipse where I am. Yeah, 92.5% where I am. And that is going to be where I am in about two hours and 13 minutes. Where I am is going to be max eclipse, 329 Eastern time. So in a couple hours, I'm going to go look out the window, but I'm not going to look straight at it. I'm just going to look kind of down at the street and see it being darker out. Okay. When I get other video to show you, I will certainly um, uh, show you that as well. It'll be really interesting to see on this video shot how it gets darker in Mazatlan, Mexico, as, uh, as that moon keeps covering the sun. Oh, one of our viewers, Valentine, is watching from New Guinea. Again, I'll post it again, the, the NASA Eclipse Explorer link where you can look up information for your area. I already posted it, but I'll post it again. I just posted it again. We are soon going to get a shot from Mexico. Wow, that is a lovely shot right there. Man, there it is live. It's happening, guys. As the moon makes its way across the sun. It is happening there in Mazatlan, Mexico. So I can't kind of I can't tell if it's a little darker there than it was before. It's hard to tell. Because, oh, it's a, it's a little weird with the camera. So it's going to get much darker there. Let me see if I have any updates for you. I'll keep an eye out on news updates. Vita Allison watching from Australia. Frank K. watching from Holland. Really glad to have you with us today for our live eclipse coverage. Oh. Ooh, NASA goes east. This is really interesting. Um, National Weather Service just posted this. Check this out. They said, um, see the shadow on the left right here? That's the eclipse. Watch the shadow on NOAA's Goes East satellite as it rolls across the continent. So that dark space right here, see that dark circle? That's the, that's the sunlight being blocked by the moon, that dark space right here, right at the end. And that's going to move across northeast, across, the, across Mexico and the U.S. And they said if you look at this satellite shot, which I'll keep handy here, you'll eventually be able to see. Oh, I, you actually can start seeing it here. Hold on, look. Um, right down at the bottom there. Right at the bottom. That's, that's the bottom left. You can see, see it's starting to get darker because, because uh, the shadow is starting to move across here. Right at the bottom left, as you see, it start getting darker there, right at the end. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on that satellite shot as well from uh, the National Weather Service. Let's get back to this. Whoa. That is live in Mexico. So that's interesting. Eric Fisher, who I follow, is in Hamilton, Texas, and he says it's like partially, partly cloudy there, but it looks like he has a pretty decent view. Now, in like two minutes, it's supposed to start in Dallas. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pull up here. 
See, I obviously, I can't play this music here. There's a little concert going on there in Mazatlan. Oh, NASA has a shot from Texas, I believe. NASA is showing a shot from Texas. Hang on one moment. I'll, sh I'll, I'll show you guys that. Okay, hold on. I'm going to show you guys th that shot from Texas that NASA has posted. All right, let me let me just do this. Give me a second. I'm going to show this to you in a second here. Yeah, see the bottom? If you look at the bottom there, guys, uh, look at the bottom. The bottom left is from Kerrville, Texas, and that's from the NASA broadcast, okay, which I'm showing you via Reuters and also via NASA. So on the bottom left on NASA, on the NASA broadcast, you can see it says Kerrville, Texas, and it's just starting there uh, from Kerrville, Texas on the bottom left. That's the Texas shot that you can see on NASA on the bottom left. And then if we go back to um, the Reuters broadcast, we're going to see in a second what it looks like in Mazatlan, Mexico. Kathy says started in Dallas. I'm supposed to get some footage from Oklahoma shortly. Look at that. That is the live shot from Mazatlan, Mexico, right there. It's happening, guys. Do they have a, does NASA have a uh, close up there? Oh, I got it. I actually can show you. I can I can show you the uh, the one from Texas. Hold on. Hang on. I'm going to add that here. Give me one moment. Give me one moment. We're going to get that on the screen for you. Let's get them both up at once. What do you think about this? We got Texas and we got Mexico. We got two of them. Oh, we're going to get two at once. We're going to get two at once, guys. We're going to have boat. We're going to have double eclipse coverage for you right now. We got Careville, Texas via NASA, and we have, um, and we have, uh, um, Here, oh, hold on. I'll get it this way. And we have the uh, Mazatlan, Mexico. Let me just do it this way. It'll be easier. I'm going to make that disappear. Then I'm going to put this one up here. And then I'm going to do this so I can put it in the corner. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? We have double eclipse coverage for you right now. Wow. Wow. We got, we got them both up there. Very cool. Oh, the one in Texas is a little obscured right now. Well, we'll just see the one in Texas, the shot in Texas from NASA on the bottom. It's kind of obscured, but Mazatlan, Mexico is not obscured. Incredible. Oh, I might have an Oklahoma shot, too. I might have a third one for you. Hang on, folks. Give me a moment here. No, the third one is not a shot of the... Uh, 
I, I have a, sh a shot of crowds in Oklahoma, but not I don't have a shot of the sky in Oklahoma yet. All right, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Look at this. Wow, 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 wow. If I, if I get a third one, I'll throw it up there. These are the two I have right now. Should I, what do you, I mean, I could go, well, I can make the one a little bigger from, from Texas. Let me think about this. Hey, thanks so much to Hedy Silovitz. Thanks also to uh, Tepi9076 and Big Dog Ron. Big Dog Ron is watching from a cruise ship near the Turks and Caicos. Doubt we'll see much. IDK anymore. Thank you, Carl Vincent. Thank you. Hold on a second here. Pixel Panda, thanks. Nick Blackbird, thank you. Baronico Dances with Wolves. Barb, thanks for the gift memberships. So what I might do is I might want to make the Mazatlan one a little bigger. The, or no, the, the, oh, no, you know what? This is weird. Now NASA... Sorry, the NASA one is like, now NASA is showing Mazatlan. Oh, NASA's going back and forth. NASA's showing multiple ones. See, NASA is showing, maybe I'll make the NASA one a little bigger and then the Reuters one a little smaller. Let's see what I can do here. Hold on, guys. I'm going to experiment a little bit. All right, this is the Reuters one. So if I do this and I put this over here, I can make this one bigger here. Ooh. How's that? See what I did there? So now we have two, but I made the NASA one a bit bigger. The NASA is going back and forth between several of them. They're having, Reuters having an issue with their Mazatlan camp. Okay. So I'm, I'm trying to show you as much stuff as possible. If I get a third one, I'll put it up there. But we have the NASA feed and we have the Reuters feed. I could also, oh, that, that Mazatlan one is good, though. I could also, the other thing I could do is, I think that's going to, I'm going to leave it like this, I think. There we go. All right, so in Mazatlan, I, I, all right, I'm, I'm going to change the headline. Solar eclipse begins in Mexico and U.S. Ooh, what is this? I got some more video coming. Where is that coming from? I got some more video coming soon. Looks like they got some on... So the NASA shot from Mazatlan is better than the, uh, the, the Reuters shot right now. That's two different shots of the same thing.
Now, what is that one? That is, oh, that's Torreon on the bottom right. That's Torreon, Mexico there. Let me make that even a little bigger. I will leave it right now. There it is. In now, now in Mexico, in Mazatlan, Mexico, they're going to have totality in 35 minutes. So it should be significantly darker there in Mazatlan, Mexico. You can see it on the left. Both of these views right now are of, are of Mazatlan, Mazatlan, Mexico. Um, so they're going to have, it's going to be quite dark there, uh, significantly darker than it was at the beginning there. And 35 at 2.07 Eastern time in Mazatlan is when it's totality there. Oh, there's a better shot on the left there from, from Mazatlan right now. Two different shots of it on your screen. Oh, our viewer said she sees it in Oklahoma City. Diane Allworth sees it in Oklahoma City. Wow. Now, are they still playing the music in Mexico? Yeah, they're still playing music in Mexico. I can't have the sound on from Mexico because they're still playing music. You can see all those people in Mexico out there by the beach there watching this. It's right on the beach on the western part of Mexico. Oh, I wonder what the satellite is showing. They updated this yet? Let's see. Ooh. Let me show you the, um, in a second, I'm going to show you the satellite. Here's the uh, NOAA satellite, guys. Look at this here. Look on the left. Look on the lower left of your screen. That is the darkening there is the eclipse. This is the satellite shot of the U.S. from NOAA. And you can see on the bottom... That's the dark on the bottom at the end of that satellite loop is the eclipse. It's the, it's the light being blocked out by the moon, and it's going to move across the country. So that's something to keep an eye on, too. And uh, totality can last, you know, two, three, one, two, three, four minutes. Uh, it doesn't last that long. Uh, I think in, for example, in Dallas, if you see it, it's supposed to last in Dallas, I think, what, four minutes, they said, NASA? Uh, they said in Dallas, the totality would last for four minutes. And we will have, we're also going to have footage from other places too. Thirty two minutes until totality and Mazatlan, Mexico. Thirty two minutes until totality there. That the moon will cover the sun in thirty two minutes. Kristen says, getting darker in Mexico. I think it's getting darker on that shot. It's, I, I, I can't be sure. 
because I guess they could always be using some sort of filter on the camera. But I, I think it's getting darker there. Our viewer said, starts here in Missouri in two minutes. Wow. There you go. Two different views of the uh, eclipse in Mazatlan, Mexico. Mazatlan, right on the coast. It's the first significant size city that's going to have totality. Uh, one of our viewers, Teacher Heart, says it's slower than I thought. Yes, it, take, it can take like 70, 80 minutes for the moon to move all the way across the sun. So while, you know, while uh, you can have that total eclipse for, you know, maybe two, three minutes or something, four minutes, you, it can be hours of the process of the moon moving across and then exiting from the front of the sun. A lot of people in my area, in Boston area, they went north because the path, uh, if you, you can, around Boston, you can get about 90% eclipse. But if you go north in New England, more north into Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, you can see 100% in some places. So, so a lot, bunch of people went there. So we're looking at Mazatlan, Mexico. Oh, thanks to Claire Coleman watching in France. Yeah, if, if I have... Um, if I get another shot of an eclipse, I will definitely show it to you. Right now, these are the two shots I have that I can show you to show to you. But if I get another one, I will. Uh, Jen sent a, a picture saying, so beautiful here in Maine. Jen Tower sent that in. So she says it's clear in Maine where she is. AJ says, watching from Illinois, I'm scared. Thanks, folks, for joining us for our coverage. Our viewer, Devman, writes in and says, saw the 1999 one in Europe as a kid, and it's amazing. Get out there later if you can, even if it's not the total one. You'll feel it getting dark, quiet, and cold in the middle of the day for a few moments. For, for a few moments, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience, says our viewer, Dev Man in Germany. Thanks for writing in. So I'm just checking some of the messages people have sent me. Oh, our viewer Gary Fatterson sent me a photo from Austin of cloudy sky from a little while ago. So if a little while ago in Austin, it was cloudy. So I hope it clears up for Gary and people in Austin. All right, guys, we have 27 minutes 27 minutes until totality in Mazatlan, Mexico. You're looking at a couple of shots from Mazatlan. On the, lower, on the right, you have the NASA shot. And on the left, Reuters is giving us coverage. And they're kind of going back and forth between the shot of the crowd and the shot of the sun getting covered by the moon. But we're getting there right now. Those people, I, if they're looking up, I hope they have their special glasses on. 
That guy, does that guy have eclipse glasses on or does he just have sunglasses? You're supposed to have eclipse glasses on. You are not supposed to be looking up at the eclipse unless you have eclipse glasses on. So I hope that guy's got eclipse glasses on. Maybe he does. But you need special glasses. Uh, I hope he's wearing eclipse glasses. Like, is there a chance in this day and age, is there a chance that like, because this, this eclipse has gotten a lot of publicity. There's a lot of people out there in Mexico, in the U.S. and Canada watching this thing. Is there a chance that so many people have gone to watch it that like, even if a small percentage of them don't wear their glasses, that I, I hope there's not like a huge number of eye injuries because you can really damage your eyes. Uh, I showed you the NASA site. The NASA site, when they talk about the eclipse, they have it in bold letters multiple times, telling you, imploring you to keep your glasses on and not look at the eclipse without your sunglasses, without your special eclipse glasses. So I, I hope it's not a case where we just have a lot of people who... They kind of just heard about it, but they didn't really research it. And then they just go out there and they look at it without the glasses. Let's hope that doesn't happen. I hope they're telling people there too to not look at it without their glasses. Look at this. Hey, we're getting close. Look at this incredible, incredible video. Two different shots of it for you from Mazatlan, Mexico. Wow. Hey, thanks so much to Brad Boda, who says, pretty cloudy here in Allen, Texas. It has begun. Super view with ISO 123122 glasses. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Cool Roy. Appreciate it. Thank you to Kazmira Flanagan, uh, Miki Casalino, Hedy Silovitz. Thank you. Bringing you live coverage today. Look at we're getting very close, guys. Airplane woman says, very bright in North Carolina. It is getting very close, as you can see. Thanks also to Sean B., uh, Mr. Society, for your support on Twitch. And uh, Missy Schmidt and Alicia Rivera and Randy Blum on Facebook for the Facebook stars. Thank you. Boy, oh boy. It's getting closer here. We are watching two different shots of the... Eclipse there as the moon is getting closer to covering the sun uh, from the view of the earth there in Mazatlan, Mexico. Just so you can see where this is located, Mazatlan, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly show you on a map. Mazatlan is here. There is Mazatlan there. And... Um, so that's where you're looking. West coast of Mexico. Oh, they, they have their glasses on. Hey, great. This is like the first shot I've seen of lots of people with their glasses on. Good for those people. They have their eclipse glasses on. A lot of people didn't seem to have them, but they got them. Um, I don't have glasses. When it's happening here, I'm going to maybe just peek. I'm not, I can't look at it. I'm going to maybe peek out and see it being dark out. But I don't have eclipse glasses with me, and I'm not going to certainly look at it uh, without eclipse glasses. So, oh, all right. So this is interesting here. On the right is Torreon, Mexico. Now, Torreon, Mexico is a bit more inland. So although the camera angle is off at NASA there with the Torreon shot. Before, they were showing it better. But when they had that shot up from Torreon, Mexico, on, on the right there, less of the sun was covered by the moon because Torreon is further inland, so the angle is different that it's, that, that it's facing the sun and the moon. So, uh, you know, the, tor the farther you go to the northeast, the more behind it's going to be. So this is basically as... The first place, the first city to have the 
total eclipse will be Mazatlan. And that is in 21 minutes. 21 minutes until... Uh, all right, first total... I'm going I'm to change the headline. First total eclipse in Mazatlan, Mexico at 2.07 p.m. ET. All right. What I need to do, and for one minute here, as I leave this on the screen, as I leave this on the screen, yeah, there's Tor Torreon, Mexico. It's like in the middle of Mexico. So in Torreon, they have less of the sun getting blocked out yet so far than they do in Mazatlan. Hey, that guy's got his that guy's got his glasses on and his hat. What I'm going to do right now is put on the screen. Hold on. Let me get that off the screen. Now it's blocking you. I need one minute, so give me one minute. I am coming back in one minute, uh, and I will leave this on the screen. See, so says Steve back in one minute. So give me one minute. I'm going to disappear for one minute. I'm coming right back. I'll leave this stuff on the screen. Our coverage will continue in one minute. All right, I'm back. Um, so I am noticing that the Torreon, Mexico shot from NASA seems, they seem to be having some cloud cover or something there. Oops, I can get this off. Okay, they switched back for NASA to Mazatlan. So you look at Mazatlan, you can still see, I mean, the sky's pretty, it's looked like the sky's pretty bright, although we'll see how it changes there in a few minutes. 18 minutes until total eclipse in Mazatlan, Mexico. 18 minutes. I'm going to check for some updates here. Oh, look at this. I got to show you the satellite shot. Check out the NOAA satellite shot of the United States right now. Look at the bottom left. Look at the bottom left and look at everything get dark there. On the bottom left, you are seeing that is from the eclipse. That is why it gets dark on the bottom left at the end of this satellite loop is the sunlight is getting blocked out over Mexico and the southwestern, some of the southern U.S. Wow, look at that, crazy. All right, let's go back here.
All right, so you can see the people in Mazatlan. They're waiting for totality. Uh, did they? St are they still playing the music there? Oh, I can't play the sound from there because they're playing this music. So that's. I'm sorry we don't have sound from Mexico, but I can't play the music on the ear. Wow, wow, guys, look at this. Look at this. Now, I don't know how it's going to look on these cameras. You know, in, in person, well, I, you know, oh, I have a different shot. I have a shot from Oklahoma now. Hold on, I have a shot from Oklahoma. Let me get the shot from Oklahoma up. Hang on. I have a shot from Oklahoma for you. Oops. One moment, please. Shot from Oklahoma coming up. What is, what is that? Hold on. Uh, I will in a second have a shot from Oklahoma. I got to get this on the screen for you somewhere where you can see it. That's not going to block something else. I'll do my best here, guys. Um, let's try this. Give me a second. Let me let me make this work for you. I know that's big. I know it's too big right there. OK, that is on the lower left is Oklahoma. That is. Millerton, Oklahoma. So let me put. Let me put a, a, some text up there or something. There's a lot going on on the screen right now. Okay, hang on. I'm going to get this on the screen here. I'm going to move that down. That's, that's obviously not Militant Oklahoma right there. Let me move this down. Let me. We're, we're going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right. And make move this up. Okay. So we got Mazatlan, Mazatlan, Mexico on the right. Mazatlan, Mexico in the middle. And on the lower left, we have Millerton, Oklahoma. So we got three of them going. And the totality is going to happen in Mazatlan in 13 minutes. And I might get rid of the Oklahoma one shortly, just temporarily, so we can have more Mazatlan video. Uh-oh. Oh, oops, I have a typo. I have a typo. Sorry. Typo. Time to fix the typo said Milterton or something. Thank you. Craziness. All right, should, should, I, should I get rid of the Oklahoma one right now or make it smaller maybe? What if I make it smaller? How about that? Okay, so look at what's going on. In Mazatlan, we're getting very close to having the totality. Uh, oh, sorry. So we got three of them now. Three locations on the screen. In the middle is Mazatlan, Mexico. They're the closest to totality. On the right is Torreon, Mexico, which is more the middle of Mexico. They're getting closer, and on the left is Millerton, Oklahoma, and they're further away. Which is an interest. It's, it's a neat shot there. You got three different locations, and the furthest northeast, Oklahoma, 
they're just early on in the process. Torreon, Mexico, middle of Mexico, they're further along, and Mazatlan, Mexico, they're almost at totality. I'll get rid of the Oklahoma one in a second. I kind of like having it up there, though, for the moment. I guess the Torreon, Mexico is a close-up shot that NASA is showing. Sinon says like a moon phase chart. I mean, yeah, this is incredible. That's three different shots of the eclipse from three different locations. Oh, Joe Seals. Good to see you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate that. It's very kind of you, Joe. I'll give you a shout later on, Joe. Hope you're well. Thanks, Joe, very much. Very kind of you. Say hi to everybody there, Joe, in Alabama. So, and thank you, Sharon, as well. I appreciate that, Sharon. Thanks so much. All right, having, they're having a little bit of a camera issue. Now, look, what are they showing us there? That's this kind of odd angle we're seeing from Mazatlan there. It's a little bit blurry, though. Looks like they're trying to show the sky. The next total eclipse in the lower 48 states. If you're in the lower 48 U.S. states, the next total eclipse in the lower 48 U.S. states will be 2044. Uh, partial eclipses happen more frequently. Uh, the last total eclipse in the U.S., I believe, was seven years ago. But the next one in the lower 48 states is, um, is uh, 2044. Hey, thanks, Walter Beasley. Much appreciated, Walter. Thank you. Um, nine minutes until total eclipse in Mazatlan, Mexico. Nine minutes. Nine minutes. You can see people out there in uh, Mazatlan with their, uh... let me get rid of this for a second. You can see people are out there with their glasses on, some of them. Some of them don't have glasses, but they're not looking up. Sorry, I shrunk it a bit there because I wanted to have this on the screen as well. So it's just kind of going back and forth, showing you guys some different things. Let me really quick do something here. I want to get... Which one is this? Is this this is this the Oklahoma one? Okay, yeah. Real quick, I want to do this. Bear with me here. I'm just doing something to make my life easier. There we go. That should work. All right. So if I do this, wonderful. Okay. Wow. So in the middle, Mazatlan, Mexico is getting very close to totality, guys. That will be the first, basically the first significant size city with totality is Mazatlan, Mexico. They are very close. I really want to get the... Uh, the accent on the A. See if I can get this here. I'm going to try to check, update my headline without breaking everything. Can I get the A correct on the, on the headline? Yes, I got it. I fixed it. I fixed the headline. Uh, seven minutes until the first total eclipse in Mazatlan, Mexico, seven minutes. Seven minutes. And then it'll be happening at other places. But this is going to be the first one we see. Wow. Guys, it's almost there.
All right, I think I'm going to, I might get rid of the Oklahoma one in a second. I think, uh, well, as when they start showing more of Mazatlan, I'll get rid of the Oklahoma one. We, we can put the Oklahoma one back up later. Donna Smith says, I'm near San Antonio and it's overcast here. Sorry about that. Some places in the U.S., unfortunately, people can't really see it well because of the clouds. Whew. I hope. Uh, all right. So we'll see what we what we see when they go back to the shot of Mazatlan on Reuters. Oh, wow, guys, it is 202, five minutes. Oh, there we go. There's some folks there. Is it really darker there? Let me get rid of this for a second. So that's, that's, that's on the ground there at Mazatlan. You know, I can do, I can make this a little smaller. Maybe I'll make the one on the right a little smaller and then we can not so you can see it. But I want to see I like to see the people on the ground in Mazatlan there. Oops, their their shot froze. The shot froze. Oh no, now it's back. They're having a little video issue there in Mazatlan. Maybe because so many people are using their phones, I don't know. All right. About f four minutes, maybe, until the totality in Mazatlan. Uh, Beef Eater says, are we really doing this eclipse thing then? It's happening. It is happening, guys. Uh, how is the sound? Is Mexico still playing music? Yeah, I, I can't play the Mexico sound because they're just playing loud music. I wish they weren't playing loud copyrighted music, but they are. So I, 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 can't, I can only give you the video right now. Oh my gosh, it's so, are we going to even see anything? I don't know if we're going to see, I don't know with these two shots on the screen from NASA and uh, Reuters, if we're going to see like, you know, like the sun's atmosphere, uh, you know, outside of the, when it, when totality begins. Oh, there's Junction, Texas. Look, there's Junction, Texas on the right. I don't know why NASA cut away from Mazatlan. Yeah, so, so I don't know with this particular, with these particular cameras, I don't know what they are going to show. Um, you know, in, depending on, on how you're viewing it, you can see some indirect light, like a ring kind of thing. Uh, NASA says, um, once the, once there's no longer any direct sunlight, um, you may be able to see the chromosphere, a region of the solar atmosphere, appearing as a thin circle of pink around the moon and the corona, the tiny, the outer, sorry, the outer solar atmosphere, appearing as streams of white light. All right, we are very close now. I'm going to remove the Oklahoma thing right now. I want to get that off the screen. We don't need to look at, see the Oklahoma thing right now. We'll put that back on in a second. So right now, it's all about Mazatlan. We're so close right now. It is 2.05 Eastern time. Roughly two minutes until totality. This is crazy. It looks like you're looking at the moon. No, you are looking at the sun right now. That's what the sun looks like. That is really nuts. You can barely see it. You can barely see the sun. Unreal. Unreal. You can barely see the sun. It's just about to start. I can still see a little sliver. I can see a sliver. It is incredible. You have to remind yourself, you're not looking at the moon, you're looking at the sun. Oh, it's dark. Breaking news. It is dark in Mazatlan. Breaking news. Breaking news. Look at Mazatlan. 
Look at it now. It's dark. It's darker there. Check that out. Crazy. That is the live Reuters shot. Now, are they playing music? Yeah, they're playing this. They're playing the music. So I can't. You're not hearing anything but music. Um, but uh, yes, technically, as our viewers said, we are also seeing the moon. But just that sliver you see is the sun. We're so close to totality in Mazatlan, Mexico. Oh, I can barely see. I'm, I'm, I'm getting my really close to my monitor so I can see the little sliver of light. But we're so close. It's just going away. I can still see a little sliver. Can, I can still see a little sliver on both, but it's really hard to see. Maybe if you were watching it on TV, you can see more of a sliver than me. Oh, is it gone yet? Maybe close. No, I see a little sliver. Barely. We might be there. We might be a totality now. We might be a totality. Uh, I still see a little on the right. I see none on the Reuters shot. So I'm going to assume we're just about there. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me uh, total eclipse begins in Mazatlan, Mazatlan, Mexico. All right. All right, so on the right is the NASA shot. So that is a, NASA is showing the same thing. That is a shot from NASA. On, I'm going to make that bigger right now. I'll make it bigger here. Hang on, I'm going to make this a lot bigger. I'm going to make the NASA shot a lot bigger now. Give me a moment. I'll make this bigger for you. Here is the NASA shot right there. That is your total eclipse shot from NASA. You are looking at it. There is the total eclipse live via NASA. That is not direct sunlight you're seeing. There it is. You are looking at the total eclipse in Mazatlan, Mexico, via NASA. On their website, they say, um, during totality, you may be able to see the chromosphere, a region of the solar atmosphere appearing as the thin circle of pink around the moon and the corona, the outer solar atmosphere, appearing as streams of white light. So you are not, the, the light you're seeing around the moon is not direct sunlight. It is part of the uh, sun's atmosphere. Unbelievable. Now, NASA says that during the totality, only this short totality, people can take their glasses off and look at it without their glasses during the totality. But NASA says in big, bold letters, um, be vigilant to protect your eyes and put your eclipse glasses back on before totality ends. Totality may only last a minute or two in some locations. So you're not supposed to look at the eclipse except through the glasses. Only, but you can, you can look at it when it's totality, but totality is very short and you got to make sure you're only taking it off during totality and you get those glasses back on before totality ends. So this is only going to last a couple minutes. Incredible video from NASA. Um, and uh, wow. So we're going to see soon on the left side there, uh, the sun, wait, now I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting which side it came in on. No, the sun's going to pop out. The sun disappeared on the left side, so it's going to pop out on the right side, right? Didn't the moon come from right to left? Anyways, it'll keep going the direction it was going in. Yeah, you know, sorry. So just so you guys know, I don't have a shot right now of the crowd from Mazatlan. Oh, hold on. Do I have a shot of the crowd? Maybe I do. Oh, hold on. I have a shot for you. I have a shot for you. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 
Hang on, I'm getting it up here for you. Um, where is it? He, oh, no, they're not showing it. They, they were showing it a little bit. I'm looking at the Mexico feed from, I have a Mexico shot from Reuters, but it's a little strange right now. Where is it? Uh, right here. See, on the lower right there, that's also Reuters. That's the Reuters shot right there. Right there is the Reuters shot. Same thing. I'll put this over in the corner. But Reuters was also showing briefly what it looked like on the ground, but they're not showing that right now, Reuters. Instead of showing the ground, they're showing the actual sun being covered by the moon. Sorry, they briefly had it posted, but before I could get to it, they cut back to the actual shot of the sun. So as soon as if they if they cut back to the shot of the crowd. Oh, look on the right there. Look at the Reuters shot. It's ahead. Oh, my gosh. Look, you're seeing it on the Reuters shot. The sunlight just came back right on the Reuters shot. And NASA's a little behind. Watch it. Oh, watch right now. There it is. There, it's totality is over. Oh, my gosh. Crazy. We just saw the light come out. There it is. It came out again. Wow. And then here is the shot right there. That's what it looks like right there. That's the shot right there from Mazatlan, right there. Look at how dark it is. People are looking at it now. See, it's all dark there. That is the live shot from Mazatlan that I'm showing you on the camera right now. Okay, so that's that one. Are they playing music there? Sorry, the sound is a little off. Sounds a little off. Can I make the sound better? Hold on. Sorry. That was there. I'll, I'll get that back for you, but let me go back to the other one. Oh, I have to fix this. I have to fix this. There we go. All right, so the sun's coming back out. That's the NASA shot, I think. Let me get the... Yeah, they, the, the, the shot froze from Mazatlan, the shot I was watching. Okay, so this is, now, now the light's coming back on in Mazatlan. All right, let me get organized here. Let me get organized. Let me get organized, everyone. So we got to see, there is Mazatlan, Mexico. Um, and I just showed you what happened is that shot froze, but you got to see it dark there in Mazatlan, and you heard kind of people kind of screaming and stuff. Sorry, the sound wasn't great on that, but you could hear people kind of shouting and screaming. Um, all right, so let me go back and get you, I want to put everything back here. That's Torreon, Mexico. So let's, let's, let's get organized here. This needs to go back on the right, and let me get, let me get two shots back for you. Ooh, what is this? Hold on. That's the, this one is, that is... Hang on. That is the this shot. Oh, I know what I have to do. I'm sorry. Okay. So we have two shots on the screen. What am I showing you? I, I've confused myself. <laughs> which shot is which? That is the Reuters shot right there, right? And then... Okay, I got it. Sorry, I was very confused as to what I was doing here. Okay, that is the NASA shot. We'll put that back in the corner over here. And then we'll fix it. So, you, All right, there is Mazatlan, Mexico. All right, there's Mazatlan again. You can see people are looking up as the sun comes back out there. Uh, can we get any sound? Sorry, the sound is messed up. So there in Mazatlan, they're seeing the sun get brighter now and come, come out from behind the moon. That is what they're looking at now. 
I got to turn it off because they're playing the music again. Now, all right. Now on the on the right there. OK. All right. So total eclipse. Sorry. Uh, total eclipse soon in Torreon, Mexico. So on your screen right now is. Did they switch their on the on the right is Torreon, Mexico. Where they're about to have total eclipse. That's on the right. And, and the one in the middle, I think, might be Torreon, too. I think Reuters may have switched their camera angle. So let me just fix that for you so you can kind of see both. Did they switch over there? Hang on. Yes, I, sorry, it's not Mazatlan. You're not, this is Torreon, Mexico. Yes, this is, oh, I'm sorry, guys. The, the live shot we just saw of people was in Torreon, Mexico. So we're now, the total eclipse is beginning in Torreon, Mexico. Let me, let me update the uh, headline there. Sorry, it's a lot of uh, things going on. So this is, you are looking at Torreon, Mexico right now. And uh, total eclipse is beginning in Torreon, Mexico. There we go. The total eclipse is, be, uh, begins in Torreon, Mexico. So that is starting right now. Okay. And let me show you the NASA shot. Oh, there we go. Look at that shot on Reuters. Wow, incredible. Incredible. Total eclipse in Torreon, Mexico. Incredible. Oh, I think, does Reuters showing the NASA shot? Reuters is showing the NASA shot. Okay, just to be clear. So what I need to do is, that is the NASA shot from Reuters. It's, it's the same shot in both. It's the same shot on both. It's the NASA shot on both. Do we have audio from there? No, they're playing, they're playing music. I can't play it. All right, so again, this is Torreon, Mexico. And we have a live uh, total eclipse going on in Torreon, Mexico right now. That is what's happening. Uh, and let me actually fix the uh, headline so it has the right, the O with the accent. Incredible. All right, I got the O. I got the O. I can fix the headline so it's the right, it's the O with the accent on it. Here we go. That goes there. Wow. I'm fixing it over here too. Oops, I need the little O. Can I get it fixed? Right there. Got it. Okay, incredible. Incredible video there. This is from Torreon, Mexico via NASA. As you see, uh, live video of the another totality. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything else. I got a shot from Oklahoma. We're going to show you that. Uh, we don't need Mazatlan anymore. That's done. You are looking. All right. I, I think so. Soon you're going to see the sun peek out from behind there. Just incredible. Emily says, great, incredible shot. So again, this is Torreon, Mexico. This is the NASA shot. And uh, I have it on, I have it there twice, but it's the same shot on both right now. And uh, I also have a live shot from Oklahoma, which is, where's that one? 
Oops. So I'm not going to show that one yet. For the moment, we're showing these two. It's the same shot. Then I'll show you the one from Oklahoma after this. Oh, I think we're seeing the sun come out. Look at the bottom right there. Look at the bottom right. Look at the bottom right. There it is. There it is. There it is. End of totality in Torreon, Mexico. Incredible. Incredible. That's an incredible shot there. You know, we're going to see it twice. I'm going to make it big here. Let's see it again on the replay. Here's the replay from NASA. Replay coming up. Replay coming up from NASA. Let's see it twice. Boom. There it is. It's the same shot, but I, it's a little delayed, so I have it. I can show it to you again. Okay. There, that was that. All right, so now it's over. Now, now it's over in Torreon. Well, it's, 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 it's not over, but it, the, total, the total eclipse is over in Torreon. All right, now let's show you. There's Torreon on the lower right. You see it says Torreon, Mexico. And, uh, and what am I looking at here? I want to get, where's the one from Oklahoma? I don't need that one anymore. Hold on. I know what I need to do. Let me get you the Oklahoma one. All right. I got the Oklahoma one coming at you in a second. Coming at you in a second. Oklahoma is coming up right now. Here it is. I got the Oklahoma one. Whoa. All right. That's Arkansas. Hold on. This is very confusing here. We have Arkansas. They keep switching back and forth. I have too many of them to show. Uh, all right, Torreon, Mexico is on the right. Which one is it on? I'm going to Arkansas. No, we want there. Okay, that's what I wanted. Okay, so over there is... That one is Oklahoma. That's Oklahoma you're looking at there. And then we have, and I want to get rid of the, what's the one there I don't want to show? What is that? There's one here. That, I want to get rid of that one on the bottom there. Give me a moment. I know things are confusing right now. Just give me a moment and I'll clear this up. A lot of moving parts. Uh, what is that? All right, so this one is from Millerton, Oklahoma on the left. Yes, that's Millerton, Oklahoma. And let me actually put up a caption so you know what we're talking about. No, we don't want, that's not Torreon, Mexico. That is Millerton, Oklahoma. Okay, we're back. Sorry for the delay. It was just a little confusing with all the eclipse shots um, showing. On the right from NASA is Russellville, Arkansas. In the middle from Reuters is Millerton, Oklahoma. We are showing both of you those right now. Uh, Rhiannon Stay says it started in northern New York. So cool. Now, where I am, I think it's starting where I am, too. Let me just check where I am. I'm not going to show it live where I am, but I might look out the window, not at it, but just to see it being dark outside. So where I am... It says it is now 225 Eastern time. All right. So it has started where I am right now, but um, the maximum, excuse me, the maximum eclipse where I am in Boston area is at 329 p.m. So 
over the next hour where I am, it's going to get darker outside. I'll have to look out the window once in a while here. Uh, but right now, what I'm showing you is in Millerton, Oklahoma, you can see that nice shot from Reuters. They're going to get totality. Oh, in Millerton, Oklahoma, where's the totality? When's that going to be? Let me just do this real quick. Um, oh, where's that Reuters feed from? Reuters is showing right now Arlington, Texas. Oh, so in behind there is Arlington, Texas. Hang on. Let me show you guys something real quick. Why am I doing that? One moment. One moment. I got to make a quick adjustment here. That's better. No, we want regular here. Where is it? There it is. So that right there is Arlington, Texas. Oops, I got to get the caption off. It's so confusing. There's so many places. All right, those people you're looking at right now are in Arlington, Texas. That's where the people are on the ground there. That's Arlington, Texas. And all right, just so you know, that's what you're looking at right now. Those are people in Arlington, Texas as it progresses there. So that's what you're looking at there, Arlington, Texas live shot. And people have their glasses on in Arlington, Texas. That is what you're looking at. Uh, hold on. That's Oklahoma. That is Arkansas. Let me make that a little smaller there so I can do this. Okay. So again, Arlington, Texas is that shot. And then this shot is... Oklahoma, Millerton, Oklahoma. So that's Oklahoma. That's Arlington, Texas. Trying to show you as much as possible here. Oh, Arlington, Texas. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's Arlington, Texas. I need another caption. Hold on, I need another caption. No, all right, I gotta switch this one. Let me switch this one and make it say Oklahoma. Or Arlington, Texas. This one is Arlington. Texas. Oh, they have Dallas, Texas up there too. Oh, so many things to show. So many things to show. I will throw that up there. What happened to Arlington, Texas? Where'd the shot go? All right. That's Dallas on the right. On the right is Dallas. We're going to get rid of Arlington, Texas for the moment and go to Millerton, Oklahoma. Oh, uh, so there's Oklahoma, Millerton, Oklahoma. Let's get rid of that for a second. Uh, no, we don't want to get rid of that one. We want to get rid of this one. There's Arlington, Texas. I don't know what to show. Hey, Dallas is getting really close, guys. Dallas is getting close. When Dallas gets super close, we're going to actually go, we'll, 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 we'll make that Dallas one a lot bigger. This one, Arlington, Texas. So on the lower right, you have D Dallas is getting close. Oh, it looks like it's cloudy in Dallas. That's the problem. In Dallas, see, look at Dallas. Look at the lower right. It's, it's close in Dallas, but it's cloudy there. It's, sort, it's more sunny in Arlington, Texas. Um, but Dallas is pretty close. It's just, it's kind of going in and out there.
Hey, those people in Arlington have their, uh, some of them have their eclipse glasses on. That guy's got his eclipse glasses on. Hey, thanks so much, Harper Ann, who's in Oklahoma. Maybe you're seeing some of it or seeing it get dark outside. Thanks, Harper Ann. Thanks, Charlene Newman as well. Ali C., Emily Flotilla, thank you so much. Bringing you live coverage here. Thanks also to um, so much to uh, Ronald Koenig. Ronald Koenig, thank you so much, Ronald, for your support of the channel. Really appreciate it, Ronald Koenig. And uh, thanks to, um, hang on a second here. Thanks to all of our moderators. Really appreciate all of our moderators who are here with us today. Thank you, moderators. Um, it's getting really close in Dallas here. I'll make the Dallas one bigger, but that's Dallas on the right there, um, there via NASA. And then just so you can see it, we also have that right there is not Dallas. That's not Arlington. That one right is right there is, um, that's Oklahoma. Uh, the big one right there is Oklahoma. That's Oklahoma, Millerton, Oklahoma. Okay, so we're back here. Dallas on the right is a little obscured by clouds. There, oh, Kerrville, Kerrville Texas. Uh, Kerrville, Texas, I guess, is really close now. Are they in it yet? They just switched to that on NASA. Oh, Kerrville, Texas. Uh, totality in Kerrville, Texas. Breaking update here. Breaking update. Breaking update right there from NASA. There we go. Careville, Texas. I got to get my extra headline off. Careville, Texas is now in total eclipse. Sorry, my headline is behind. I keep being behind. There it is. Uh, let me get this off for a second. This one. That is Careville, Texas. There it is via NASA. Careville, Texas, total eclipse. Maybe it's Kerrville. Kerrville, Texas? Somebody says maybe it's Kerrville, Texas. That is it. Look at that. Another total eclipse. It'll last a few minutes. Uh, people in Kerrville, uh, I'm watching a, a live shot. I, I don't have that to show you, but uh, there is a live shot I'm seeing of people in Kerrville, and it's darker there. It is darker in Kerrville right now. I'm seeing a live shot from Kerrville where, where it's pretty dark there. Sorry, oops. The Reuters shot is from Arlington. Oh, it's, I think it's dark in Arlington too. They just switched off of it. Uh, there's Dallas. They just switched back. Let me show you what Arlington, Texas is looking like right now. That's Arlington, Texas there. Uh, from Reuters. What's the deal with Arlington, Texas? Are they in it yet or not? Oh, no. Arlington is near Dallas, right? Arlington is a little bit west of Dallas. So, okay. So I think what we need to do is get Arlington up on the screen headline. Arlington, Texas. There you go. Uh, they're very close. And we're going to have a live shot from Arlington of the people. So maybe we'll be able to, It is now pretty dark in Kerrville, Texas. I'm watching on TV a shot of that that I, that I don't have for you. But we will have a shot for you of on the ground in Arlington, Texas. So let me get that on the screen. Uh, it's on the screen, but let me change the, the live shot headline there. Good, 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 good. Okay, Arlington, Texas. So we're looking right now on the right is, is that Kerrville on the right? On the left is Arlington. Okay, you're looking at Arlington right now. It's getting dark there. Uh, so let me change the headline now.
Oh, Arlington, it looks like the, the eclipse, the total eclipse starts in three minutes. Uh, total eclipse uh, soon in Arlington, Texas. All right, so you are looking at a, uh, do we have sound from there? No, they're playing, why am I playing music from there? It looks like they're playing music there. Okay, they, they're playing music everywhere. All right, you're looking at a live shot now. Arlington, Texas, it has clearly gotten darker there. Um, I think it is in about three minutes. Uh, they will be in totality in Arlington, Texas. So you are looking at a live shot from Arlington, Texas. It is clearly darker. Uh, and people are there and they're looking up at the sky and it's getting darker. Wow. I believe in Arlington, it's in, it's, I, I'm looking at a clock. It says two minutes and 30 seconds, according to NASA, until Arlington, Texas totality. For the moment, I'm going to get rid of the extra thing on the bottom. We're, we're, this is a, we're going full shot Arlington, Texas, where in two minutes, Arlington, Texas, they will have totality. It's way darker there. Cool shot you're looking at right now uh, of what things are there. People are, there, there is the sun in Arlington, Texas. It's about to start. My clock says one minute and 36 seconds until Arlington, Texas total eclipse. Uh, Dallas is about to begin too. Dallas is very close. Dallas is in two minutes. Uh, Dallas right near Arlington. So here we go. We're going to see it shortly. Oh, I can show you Dallas. Here you go. Here is Dallas. There's Dallas on the lower right. We got Dallas on the right, Arlington, Texas on the left. What time? People are asking. Thank you, Fiat Hedge. Guys, if you want to know a particular location, uh, uh, go to NASA Eclipse Explorer. I am putting the lip link to NASA Ex Eclipse Explorer in the chat. If you want to know you can where what the timing is in a particular place, put in the zip code in NASA Eclipse Explorer. I just posted the link in the chat. NASA Eclipse Explorer. You can put the zip code in and get the exact time for any U.S. zip code. Thank you so much, Fiat Hedge. Thank you, Leonette. Thank you, NorCal JB. Okay, so Dallas and Arlington, similar little locations, close to each other. They're both about to get into totality. You see a little sliver there, uh, over there on the right. I'm going to have to make this bigger and this one smaller. Right, let's see. I want to show you both of them. I'm trying to show you both, both total eclipses at the same time. Wow. Wow. Look at this. We got Dallas and Arlington about to both enter totality, a uh, to uh, total eclipse. Little sliver left, little sliver left. I think maybe it started in, oh, there, wow, there it is. Okay, here it is in Arlington. Uh, total eclipse begins in Arlington. Wow, okay. Look at that, look at that. Oh, oh do we have sound? It's music. Not gonna worry about the sound there. And it's begun in Dallas, too. It has begun in Dallas, too. Total eclipse in Arlington and Dallas, Texas. Uh, both places now, Arlington and Dallas, total eclipse. 
The big picture is of Arlington, Texas. The smaller one, which I'll make bigger in a second, if it gets more visual, is Dallas, Texas. Wow. It'll last just a couple minutes, what, like three or four minutes? Um, it lasts three minutes and 30 seconds. In Arlington, roughly three minutes and 30 seconds of total eclipse. And on the right, you are seeing it in Dallas. Look at that on the right. You can see it in Dallas as well. Hey, thanks so much, Patty Nielsen. Appreciate that. Wow. So we got two at the same time, two shots at the same time. The right Dallas, the left Arlington. I wish they would show us the, the ground in Arlington. They're just showing us the sun. It's great to see the sun, but it's also nice to see how dark it is on the ground. Uh, but maybe they'll cut back there. Oh, they just switched the NASA shot to Russellville, Arkansas. There it is. There, there's, there's both shots. Arlington on the left, Dallas on the right. Thank you, Adrienne Hall. I appreciate it. Bringing you live coverage. Crazy. One, one city after the other. Mazatlan, Mexico. Torreon, Mexico. Dallas, Arlington. We keep seeing it in different cities. Um, hey, thanks, uh, B. Kush. Um, B, I don't have control of the camera angles. I'm using, I, I pay for the Reuters feed, and Reuters, for whatever reason, they're, they're not showing right now the, uh, the crowd. So I hope they cut back to the crowd. They will eventually, but I can't, I can't control the camera angle. I wish I could because I would show you the crowd right now. Uh, so I hope that in a second they show people on the ground. But Maybe in a second they'll switch back to the ground shot. I'm hoping they do, because I know they have a ground shot. But I think they're really excited to show this shot. But they should go back and forth. They're just sticking with this shot for now. Wow. There it is. There's a shot right there. There it is. There it is right there. That is Arlington, Texas. Look at it. It's dark there. That is the shot of Arlington, Texas. You just saw it. You just saw it. Oh, it's ending in Arlington. There it is. The sun is coming back out. Well, from behind the moon. Uh, it is just ending in Arlington right now. There it is. Sorry, I know the sound's a little messed up. Oh, I probably can get you better sound. Hang on. I think I can get you better sound. Give me one moment. Give me one moment. Uh, no, that's something different. What am I didn't. Sorry, I got you the wrong thing. There it is. There they're back. It's sunnier now. All right, so, so things getting brighter again in Arlington. She took off her glasses. All right, so that's Arlington right there. Uh, let, me, let me get organized here. Oh, Dallas is still... Hold on, where's Dallas? Oh, no. There's Dallas. Look, Dallas. Hold on, it's Dallas. No, what is... Wait, wait. What happened to Dallas? Now what are we looking at? What's that? I don't even know what we're looking at now. All right, let me get caught up here. Sorry, I, now I'm just confused. I don't even know what we're looking at. Uh, that, I thought, was Arlington. Did they switch the feed? Maybe? I don't know if that's Arlington anymore. Uh, Dallas, the sun is coming back in Dallas. There's a shot from Dallas right there, from NASA right there. That's the shot in Dallas. Uh... So I'm going to say total eclipse ends in Arlington and Dallas, Texas. Oh, there's that one. Now, there's another one back there, but I don't think that's Arlington anymore. All right, so this is Dallas. Hold on, please. 
All right, I don't even know what we're looking at on that other shot. Let me figure out what that other shot is. That other shot is from, what's that one? Oh, is that Oklahoma? No. Oh my gosh. Yes, that's Millerton, Oklahoma. Uh, Millerton, Oklahoma is what you're looking at here. Millerton, Oklahoma. So it looks like there's a total eclipse in, Mar in Millerton, Oklahoma. There you go. Okay. Uh, hang on. Okay, good. You are looking live at Millerton, Oklahoma. Do we have any audio from there? Let me see. Oh, they're playing like music or something. Yeah, so, um, all right. So total eclipse in Millerton, Oklahoma. You're looking at it right now. On the right is Russellville, Arkansas. One after the other. Sorry, it gets a little confusing when, because sometimes the, the providers switch, like Reuters will switch their shot and I don't know where they're switching to. Whew. Oh no, I don't want to say total eclipse ends, total eclipse in Millerton, Oklahoma. There we go. That's what you're looking at right now. And maybe we'll see people on the ground there. I do wish they would show people on the ground some more. So you're going to soon see the sun come out from behind the moon there in Millerton. Oh, look, look at the people. Look, there's Millerton right there. There's Millerton right there. Uh, you can see how dark it is there. See that? I got to be careful because it sounds like they're playing music. I can't play the music. But that is a live shot. That's live from Millerton, Oklahoma. You're looking at it. Look at how dark it was there. And there's about to be one in Russellville, Arkansas, on the right. Uh, Mick Muffin says, I saw it in Austin. Cool. Trying to keep up here with all the different cities. Oh, there it is. It's coming back out. Look, the sun came back out. Oh, there it is in Millerton. Wow, it really comes out bright there. Came out bright. Uh, they, it looks like they switched the filter on the camera. So the sun is coming back in Millerton, peeking out on the lower right there. Uh, not the lower right screen. In the middle of your screen on the lower right of the circle, uh, the sun is peeking out. The total eclipse is ending in Millerton, Oklahoma. And they just switched their shot. Okay, now it's... Now what are they showing? I don't even know where they are anymore. They switched. I think that's still Millerton, but I'm not even sure. They might have switched. Let me see. Uh, I think they're still showing Millerton. As far as I can tell, that's still a live shot from Millerton, Oklahoma. I think those are people on the ground who just saw the totality. Oh, put your put your glasses back on. Yeah. She almost looked up without the glasses. Unless they switched the location, but I don't think they switched it yet. Uh, Russellville, Arkansas, I believe, is in total eclipse. What's she saying? Okay. On the lower right, it says Russellville, Arkansas. Uh, let me make that bigger for you on lower right. We have NASA showing, oops, sorry, I made a mistake here. 
This should be more pushed over. There we go. So that is the one. Let me get this off here. That's Russellville, Arkansas. That is via NASA. Oops. Hang on. There you go. Another one. I'm going to peek. Let me peek. I want to peek out of this is Russellville, Arkansas. You're looking at that live. Let me peek outside my window, not up at the eclipse, but it's, it's getting darker here where I am. So let me just peek out so I can see it myself out my window. I'm coming right back. Hang on a moment. Okay, where I am, it's not that noticeable yet. Um, I don't have eclipse glasses. I'm in Boston area. Um, we're supposed to hit peak here where I am in like 37 minutes. Um, 37 minutes, and then so I'm going to keep kind of looking outside just to see it get a little darker. So you're looking at Russellville, Arkansas right now, total eclipse. And also we have behind there is... That is a different shot. So I'll have to, we'll see what happens. Let's, let's keep on, let's keep watching Russellville until the sun, uh, the sun's, I think the sun's about to poke through there. I'm not sure. But uh, the, the total eclipse only lasts a few minutes. So we'll keep an eye on this one until this one is over. And then we'll go to the next one. But again, I'm not looking up at the eclipse. I, when I look out the window, I look at the ground. I, I'm not going to look at the eclipse. I don't have the glasses. All right. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. More eclipse coverage coming for you. Thanks to all of our moderators, Linda Belk and Larry there on X. Really appreciate all of our moderators here. Hang on, I want to thank some more of our moderators. Lyra Stars, thanks for moderating on YouTube right now. Uh, I think on the lower right there, are we going to start seeing it peek through the sun? I actually have a second one to show you, but we'll wait. I'll, wait. I'll go to the next one as soon as this one is over. On Twitch, we have moderating uh, Daily Disclosure, Hearsay Studios. Oh, hold on. What happened? They were just going to show it. What happened to the NASA shot? Oh, I think they switched NASA. See what they did? They switched the camera, I think. And now there it is. There's the sun peeking through. Uh, total eclipse ending in Russellville, Arkansas, as the sun peeks through right there. There it is. You can see it there. Total eclipse ending in Russellville, Arkansas. Okay. So let me go and show you the other thing here we have. Next up. Ooh, what's that one? What is that one? That one is, that one is Indianapolis. We have a live shot from Indianapolis, Indiana. Oh my gosh. And Carbondale, Illinois. Carbondale, Illinois in Indianapolis, Indiana. Cool. Okay. Uh, thanks so much to over there on Twitch. Daily Disclosure, Hearsay Studios, LB Prairie Dawn, McBritches, Sarah, Papa Bear, and Surly Dev, Surly Dev moderating. Thank you. Uh, also... Uh, 
Thanks to uh, Eve Richards for the Facebook stars and Christina Neal moderating, Kay Lowry body, Margaret Riley. Really appreciate all of our moderators. Thank you. Um, and bringing you live coverage here of the eclipse. We have Indianapolis and Carbondale. Oops, I I screwed I screwed up uh, I screwed up the headline. Sorry, I was trying to say ends in. Uh, uh, total eclipse. Uh, happening in various cities. Total eclipse. Soon in various cities. Uh, all right. Sorry. Trying to just keep up here. Man. Uh, thanks also to Jeanette Tover and Pam Georgia Carver and Bryant Utpatel for the Facebook stars. JoJo is watching in Nova Scotia. You know, eventually there will be some cities in Canada where they can see it. Crazy. Francis says, brother in Ohio is right in the path. I appreciate you all joining us for our coverage. Fun watching it with you guys. We have... Diane Allworth says, okay, Oklahoma City just barely made it. Clouds rolling in. So this is, uh, you're looking at Indianapolis right now. Uh, what else do I have? Do I have one from Montreal? Is that possible? Guys, I might have a camera from Montreal. Hang on. That's cool. Let me see if I can show you that one. I think I do. Yes, I have. I think one from Montreal. Yes, I do. Hang on. I'm going to show you the Montreal feed. I need a second to get it up on the screen, but I'm going to show you the Montreal feed because I do have it available. I have it right now. I have it right now. Hang on. Um, uh, that's Montreal. That is Montreal. Let me change. It's not Arlington, Texas. It is Montreal. That is Montreal, Canada. Wow, very cool. All right, so that's Montreal there. And then NASA has Carbondale, Illinois. Hold on a second. There's so much to show you here. Uh, let me get the NASA one back up. NASA is right. Where is it? There. Okay, so in the middle, we have Montreal, Canada. And on the right, we have Carbondale, Illinois. Whew. But I'm glad we have the video from Canada. That's really neat. The total eclipse in Montreal starts, according to the internet, at uh, 326, which is in 26 minutes. Right now, uh, there is a total eclipse. Uh, Uh, in Carbondale, Illinois. Which you're seeing on the right. Tracks and Relax as a starting in Pennsylvania. Uh, Cam Wilson says, we're scheduled to hit totality in Hamilton. Is that Ontario in 17 minutes? BJ Skull says, slowly getting darker in northern uh, Ohio.
We are watching Montreal, Canada and Carbondale, Illinois. Do this for a second here. Very cool. So we've seen them in Mexico, in the U.S., and we're seeing one getting closer in Canada. Jay Klaus says Chicago hits peak at 2.07 local time. Uh, peak where I am is in about 25 minutes. Totality in Indianapolis in five minutes. So when Carbondale goes off, we'll put Indianapolis up. Hey, thanks so much. Ronald came for the gift memberships. Thank you, Ronald. So we got that live shot from Carbondale on the right, from Montreal there in the middle. Uh, I'm going to get Indianapolis back up on the screen in a second because that is getting closer. Oh, Indianapolis is getting very close. I think I might put Indianapolis up right now, guys. We'll go back to Montreal in a second. That's Montreal. Uh, maybe I can do it this way. All right, we'll put Montreal down here. Here's, here's how we're going to do this. Montreal is down there. All right, this is how we're doing it. There's Montreal, and then there's Indianapolis. We got three on the screen at once. We got Montreal on the bottom left. We got Indianapolis on the top, and we got Carbondale, Illinois on the right. We got three of them for you. Rob is watching from Niagara Falls. Hello, Rob. Uh, thanks, Giselle, for the gift membership. So all three of them. I feel like NASA has that Carbondale one. Hasn't Is Carbondale, like, frozen? It's been going on there for a while. I mean, these are only supposed to last a few minutes. But the, that shot's a live shot on NASA. Anyways... I would expect the Carbondale one will be over shortly. Uh, Georgina says, starting in Pennsylvania now. Full in approximately 17 minutes. Uh, Carbondale, it's ending. Yeah, Carbondale, you're starting to see the sun peak out there in Carbondale, Illinois. Um, if you want to look up a particular zip code in the U.S., uh, oh, I think it crashed. Uh, oh, no, I have it. The Eclipse Explorer. I'll post a link. Um, NASA Eclipse Explorer. You can look up by zip code what the timing is in your location. And I just posted the link in the chat for you. All right. Total Eclipse is about to begin in Indianapolis. Total Eclipse just ended. I think that Carbondale shot, it's, it's, it's like, I think it's kind of like shot at a different angle than some of the other ones. Ah, so now you have Indianapolis. NASA switched to Indianapolis. So we have two shots of Indianapolis, Indiana, where the Total Eclipse is about to begin. Um, and in Montreal, on the bottom left, uh, they are getting closer in Montreal. I am in Boston. We're going to get, we have like 92% here. Uh, so we're not going to have a full one here. So very close in Indianapolis, guys. I hope if you're out watching it, you're doing it safe and you're having a good time and you've been getting good, clear weather. Uh, Flor Morena says three minutes to peak in my area. Wow. I feel like you get spoiled. You get to see it again and again in different cities. Oh, there, Indianapolis. There we go. I think it just started in Indianapolis. Look at that. Look at the Indianapolis shot. Wow. Very cool. Oh, they switched to it. That's the NASA shot. That's the NASA shot. They switched on Reuters to the NASA Indianapolis shot. See, you're, you're actually seeing it twice. It's one is on a delay. 
Check that out. So total eclipse in Indianapolis happening now. Wow, very cool shot from NASA. Get it up there. There we go. Ooh, it just got bigger. It's the same shot. I'm showing you the same shot twice right now just because it's on both NASA and Reuters, but Reuters via NASA. But that middle shot is from NASA. It's the same shot you're seeing. It's just one is in it, one is ahead of the other. But total eclipse now in Indianapolis. Uh, let me read what NASA says. NASA says during the total eclipse, uh, during totality, Viewers may be able to see the chromosphere, a region of the solar atmosphere appearing as a thin circle of pink around the moon, and the corona, the outer solar atmosphere, appearing as streams of white light. They say in order to be vigilant to protect your eyes and put your eyeglasses back on before totality ends, totality may only last a minute or two in some locations. Uh, the, the one time... If you're looking at the eclipse, you can, in theory, take your glasses off safely is when it's when it is in totality, says NASA. But that is a short amount of time. You want to be really careful uh, about don't take them off until it's in totality and make sure you get them back on before the sun comes back out again. Uh, S. Cub said we could see the colors here. One of our viewers, Funk, Funky, said in Colorado it's almost over. Thanks to Janet Burnett and Susan O'Brien for your support as members. Wow. So we are looking right now at the Indianapolis uh, total eclipse. It is ongoing right now. Total eclipse in Indianapolis, uh, Indiana, going on right now, and we are watching it. And that sun is going to poke through on the lower right there shortly. Keep an eye out. Unless they switch, they might switch the camera angle. Or they might switch the filter or something. Oh, thanks so much to Susan O'Brien. I really appreciate that, Susan. Thank you, Susan, for your support of the channel. Susan O'Brien, much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, is it, I see, I see the sun there on the lower right. Coming through, there it is. It's about to end in Indianapolis. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's really cool. Really, really cool when that happens. Look at that. Wow, what a shot there. What a shot. I'm going to show you that again because now, because the, the right shot is on a delay. Look at that. That was really neat. You guys want to see that again? Watch this. We'll watch it again. There it is again. Same thing from NASA. Might have been two different shots. I don't know. Anyway, no, I think I think Reuters was showing a different shot. Anyways, that was really cool. All right, it's it's the total eclipse is over in Indianapolis. The sun is starting to peek out, just starting to peek out there. That was really neat. All right, where next? Where next? I don't know where Reuters is showing next. Serene 74 says, amazing. Oh, that, look at that right there. Look at that right there. That is Indianapolis right there. That's the crowd. You should see it's kind of dark there. There is the crowd in Indianapolis. Let me just get 
Oops, sorry. Get that other stuff off the screen for the moment. I just want to show you the crowd in Indianapolis. See, it's dark. It's kind of dark there. Definitely darker. Oh, that's is that Indianapolis? Are they near a river or something? It says Indianapolis on Reuters. Is that not it? Did they they might have switched locations and not said? Unless they're near like a river. Unless they might have, maybe they switched to Niagara Falls or something. I don't know if they switched. It said, it said Indianapolis. We were looking at Indianapolis. They might have just switched it. I don't know what body of water they would be near in Indianapolis. I'm not aware of some huge body of water. That must be Niagara Falls. That's Niagara Falls. Okay, sorry. I apologize for the confusion. They switched over before they changed on, this, on, on what I can see, the update. That's Niagara Falls, it looks like. Yes, they just posted it is Niagara Falls. That is confirmed Niagara Falls. Sorry, I was like, where in Indianapolis are they next to all that water? Uh, Cleveland is being, hey, Cleveland's about to start. Hold on. Let me, let me fix this. There's Cleveland on the lower right. There is Cleveland. Uh, and you're looking at Niagara Falls right there, that video. So... So total eclipse soon in Cleveland. Let me just update the headline here. And this live shot is from Niagara Falls. Uh, hold on, I got I got to change my headphones here. That's Niagara Falls, and then Cleveland is on the lower right. We're gonna make Cleveland a little bigger so you guys can see it. And I need to switch my headphones. Give me one moment here. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for your patience. Okay, we're back. Sorry. We are back now. We are back. Sorry about that. We had kind of everything kind of everything kind of fell apart here. Hey, look at Niagara Falls. Everything's dark in Niagara Falls. Look at Niagara Falls right now. Is that cloudy or dark? I'm looking at it right now. Sorry about that. Um, hang on. What's the sound there like? Now they're playing music. I can't do it with the music. Uh, we're looking at a live shot in Niagara Falls. Sorry about that, everybody. We're back now. I have to do one thing, though. So Niagara Falls is on the left. Things are pretty dark there. Here, I have to do one thing. Hopefully this doesn't mess anything up. <laughs> Give me one moment here. Give me one moment. Oh, this is annoying. One sec. Sorry, guys. Wow, that was crazy. Oh, I got to go check outside and see. It's supposed to be getting dark here. Sorry, sorry about the, uh, the, the little blackout there for a minute or two. Had a little bit of an issue. Little technical issue. That was kind of strange. All right, let me just real quick 
do this. So on the left, we have Niagara Falls. On the right, we have, to oh, sorry, I think I missed the Cleveland one while we were doing this other stuff. Uh, let me just fix the headline too. Total eclipse in Niagara Falls, New York. So you're looking at the total eclipse in Niagara Falls, New York. You're seeing the crowd there. Um, let me actually get rid of that and get you full screen on Niagara Falls. You're literally seeing right now Niagara Falls. Um, and But they're playing music, I guess. So I, I can't really play the sound because I'm just hearing music when I go to the sound from there. Uh, but it is dark there. Yeah, I need to go look out my window in a second. I'm going to take like 10 seconds and look out my window. Hang on one second. Hang on one. I'm just going to look out my window real quick. I'm just looking out my window. Hang on. Well, look at while well, you can see the dark sky in Niagara Falls. That's crazy. It is certainly dark there. I'm going to go look out my window in a second. All right, hang on. Hang on, folks. Whoa, no, that's not what we want. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hold on. Yeah, I just looked outside. It is definitely darker where I am. I'm in the Boston area. I'm in the Boston area, and it is darker here. It's a lot darker here. Uh, we're looking at the Niagara Falls one right now. Appreciate you guys sticking with us. <laughs> sorry for the sorry for the pause. Uh, there's Niagara Falls there. Oh no, sorry. Uh, I have a typo in the a typo in the headline. I was trying to get back on the air when we had our little issue there and had a bit of an issue with the had an issue with the headline. Oh now and now I did the small small eye, sorry. Everything's falling apart. Let's get this back let's get this back on the road here. Let's get this back going on. There we go. It looks like the total, yeah, the total eclipse is ending in Niagara Falls. See, the sun is peeking back out. There you go. The total eclipse ending in Niagara Falls, New York. Sun coming back out. Nisto says it's getting dark in NYC. Looks like sundown a bit. I just looked outside here. I'm going to go look outside again. It definitely is darker out here, but I, I, I don't want to look at the sun when I look outside. I don't have the glasses on, so I'm just kind of looking down at the street when I look outside here. All right, let me show you guys. Again, that's Niagara Falls. What are we doing with the sound here? Why am I hearing weird sound? Oh, I know what that is. I'm sorry. You know what? No, it's still not. Where is that coming from, that sound? Is that the sound from the live? I don't know if it is. But that is Niagara Falls. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what it is. That's not lot. That's no sound. That's no sound. I'm just making sure it's a little confusing with the sound where I'm getting this. There's like some music playing, but I don't know if that's from where I think it is. Let me just see here. It's not coming from there. It's not coming from there. It's 
got to be from there. Hold on. Where is that coming from? I'm really confused. Oh, I think I know what it was from. It might have been the NASA sound. Let's try this again. That's just like bad sound. Okay. Sorry. All right. Let's all right. Let, let's get organized again. Let's just get organized. I have Burlington, Vermont, I think. I think I have Burlington, Vermont coming up. Is that what I have next? What am I? I don't even know what I'm showing you. <laughs> let's or is that on AF? All right, there's so much going on here. First of all, here's Tupper Lake. Tupper Lake, New York coming up. That is Tupper Lake, New York right there. There's two. And then there's, Bur I don't even know where that's coming from. Where am I seeing that one? Where's that one? Ugh. So confused. I'm, I'm like, have things on my screen. I don't know where they're coming from. All right. There is Tupper Lake, New York in the corner. That's on the corner. Where is that other one? So confused. Okay, I think this one on here is Burlington. I think that's from Reuters, and that's Burlington, Vermont, right? That must be what that is. Yes, that is the Reuters feed from Burlington, Vermont. Yes. Okay. So what we have now is we have two total eclipses. We have on the left Burlington, Vermont via Reuters. And on the right, we have Tupper Lake, New York, which is no longer there. Um, so Burlington, Vermont is in full total eclipse. And that is what you're seeing on the screen right now. That is pretty neat. And then I think I have maybe still the one from Montreal. Guys, is Montreal one now too? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think that's Montreal on the left. Am I crazy? I think is Montreal in total now? Let me just see. I think it is. Is that the end of it? It says that's from Montreal. Yes, that was Montreal. But for some reason, oh, we had it there and now we don't have it anymore. <laughs> Sorry. But that was Montreal on the lower left. They were in total eclipse too. Okay, sorry, we lost that shot. We had that shot for a moment. So if I get it back, I'll let you know. Oops, sorry. That is the Burlington, Vermont one. Cyan Doodle says, no longer dark in Mississauga, Saugua, Ontario. Saugua, Ontario. Oh, look, Vermont, Burlington, Vermont. There it is. The end of the total eclipse. The sun peeking through in Burlington, Vermont. We just saw it right there. So total eclipse ends in Burlington, Vermont. I apologize for, you know, it's, there, there's a lot of different shots of everything and I'm trying to kind of keep in track of all of them and it gets a little confusing sometimes. Oh, I think I have the Montreal one back. 
Guys, I have the Montreal shot back, and it is, uh, it's, uh, the eclipse looks like it's just, the total eclipse has just ended in Montreal. Let me show you that real quick. No, that's not it. Uh, right here. Okay, so let me just get organized here. This one is, jeez, so confusing. <sighs> this one is, all right, Burlington, Vermont is up here. Lower left is Montreal, Canada. So we have Maine on the right, Montreal, Canada on the lower left, and Burlington, Vermont on the top left. And it just, it's, it's just total just got over in Burlington, total just got over in Montreal. And my guess is in Holton, Maine, it's soon. Yeah, Jane Jones says Montreal just visit, finished totality. Oh, let me check outside myself. I'm going to just go myself and really quick just peek outside real quick. Hang on. Whoa, no. Hold on. Hang on. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm back. I just looked out my window and it's definitely darker here. It's not like nighttime here because we're not we're not getting total eclipse where I am, but it is definitely darker outside. It's noticeably darker. <laughs> noticeably darker. Oh, I think I had a shot from New York City. Maybe I can show you the New York City shot. Hold on a second here. I'm going to switch the switch to the New York City shot where it's still kind of dark there. I can. All right, let me get rid of the Montreal for now. Get rid of the headline for now. Oh, Holton, Maine. So Holton, Maine is now in, sorry, Holton, Maine is now in uh, Eclipse. Total Eclipse in Holton, Maine. You're seeing it on your screen right now via NASA. So that's happening. Good. And then do I have that New York shot I can show you? I'd like to. Holton, Maine. I think this shot down here Guys, you see this shot right here? That is New York City. According to AFP, that's New York City. I don't know how much filter they have on that now. Yeah, that's a live shot from New York City right there. Right there, that's New York City. Because you can see people in it. So it is kind of dark there. I mean, that, that again, AFP says that is a live shot from New York City. Right there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to get the other one up here. So what you're seeing here is on the lower right, Holton, Maine. And, and right there on the left part of your screen, that is New York City, according to AFP. But they're saying it's not a total. It's not. Uh, they're saying people attend Eclipse watch party in New York City. And it says it's live. Let me look up and see on the Eclipse Explorer. Yeah, New York City, their maximum eclipse was nine minutes ago, it looks like. Yes, New York City maximum eclipse was at 325, and it's currently 335. So they're past the maximum eclipse in New York City, 
but they're still close to the maximum clips. Because I just looked it up. So again, Holton, Maine is on the bottom right, and then New York City is that shot that you're looking at right now. Yes, according to NASA, New York City had 90.1% eclipse, and their maximum eclipse time was at 3.25 p.m., which was 11 minutes ago. So it's going to be getting brighter there in New York City, but it's still darker there. Uh, Holton, Maine eclipse has ended. Total eclipse, not the not partial eclipse. The total eclipse has ended in Holton, Maine. Kevin says full eclipse in Canada. Yeah, Montreal had one. Um, I'm going to show you more stuff here. I don't know if, oh, the satellite view. Yeah, I can. Thanks for reminding me about that. Wow, this is incredible. Look at this satellite view. Guys, look at the satellite view. Thanks for reminding me. I forget. One of the viewers reminded me. Look at the satellite view. Check that out. That is the satellite loop. You're, you're seeing the eclipse move across the country. That's incredible. How about that? That's the NOAA satellite. You see that dark spot move right across the U.S., Mexico and the U.S. Thanks for, I forgot about it. Thanks for reminding me to the viewer. We showed this earlier. I forgot to go back and check on it. I'll post a link to that satellite so you guys can look at it too. Uh... Link to satellite loop. I just posted the link in the chat. So it's up there. You can see it's up there in New England area, Canada area now. Things getting brighter uh, in New York City. That live shot we're showing you from there. Um, and... Let's see what we get next. NASA is still showing Holton, Maine. Reuters is still showing Holton, Maine. I don't know if we'll have more from Canada. We had the one from Montreal. Thanks to Auntie Lennon, our member, uh, Flor Morena. Appreciate it, Flor Morena. Harper Ann, thanks for the gift memberships. Janet Burnett, thanks for the gift memberships. Uh, thanks, Walter Beasley and Marty Hagwood, thank you. I've been enjoying watching this with you guys. Uh, thanks to Table Tens over there on Twitch for your support. Bill 3Y, Red Riot, thanks for your support on Twitch. Oh, uh, Facebook, uh, did I have to start Facebook? Did Facebook start again? The Facebook stream ended. Are we back on Facebook? I can, I can start it again. Maybe I have to restart it on Facebook. Oops. Oh, no, we're live on Facebook. Okay, we are live. Sorry, the Facebook stream, when we had our little kind of hiccup, the Facebook stream ended and it restarted. All right. That's all right. Uh, 
Uh, big thanks to our moderators. Uh, Kay Lowry Bodies moderating. Margaret Riley, Christina Neal over there on Facebook. Linda Belk and Larry on X on YouTube. Ruth Crafasi, Danny James, Lyra Stars. Really appreciate all of our moderators. I'm going to take some of your comments in a second. Sorry, it's been so busy here during this stream. Uh, over on Twitch, much appreciated to you. Um, Daily Disclosure, Hearsay Studios, LB Prairie Dawn, I Got That Fire, McBritches, Papa Bear, and Surly Dip. Wow. I wonder if that's... See, NASA maybe only has... Well, NASA had some, some video from Mexico, but we're getting to the point at which maybe it's only going to be in, going on in Canada. Holton, Maine is where? The, the, in terms of the tot total ones? Uh, Holton, Maine is... Yeah, Holton, Maine is right near the Canada border, guys. I don't know if I can show you guys this. Holton, Maine is here. It's right next to the Canadian border. So I'm assuming there's no more total eclipses in the U.S. because uh, it's over in Holton, Maine, and Holton, Maine is right in the Canadian border. So maybe maybe there's something going on in New Brunswick right now. Uh or uh, Newfoundland, I'm not sure, up here in Canada. But I think maybe the, the, the... Oh, and you can see, look, down at the bottom right in Dallas, the partial eclipse is almost over in Dallas. Um, because the, the moon is almost out of the way of the sun in Dallas. You can see on the right there. Oh, thanks to Ann Walter. Ann says, used my 27 eclipse, 2017 eclipse glasses to watch near St. Louis at 99.1% coverage today. Wow, had a great view of moon moving across the sun like last time. Incredible. Just not the corona view. Well worth my time for this. That's awesome. Glad you got to see it, Ann. And thanks to Nibi as well. Uh, Canadian Patriot says, it's getting darker in Nova Scotia. I don't have video right now from Canada. Oh, I am going to have some. Hold on. Hang on. I got video. Where is that from? I have a different video to show you. Wait. Oh, that's Burlington, Vermont. Okay, so that's from Reuters and time and date, Burlington, Vermont. And what you can see is, oops, uh, it's it's. The sun is, the, the moon is getting out of the way of the sun in both Burlington, Vermont, and in Holton, Maine. And in Carbondale, Illinois. Those are all places that had total, total uh, eclipses, and now the moon is getting out of the way of the sun. Looks like things are getting brighter in New York City. Let me just go back to that for a second here. There's that New York City shot. Again, New York City, I think, was like 90. Were they 90% there or more? Yeah, about 90% of, uh, of uh, eclipse percentage in 90% uh, 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 coverage uh, um, NASA says what's going on in New York City. You see some people leaving there. Hang on a second here. Hazard says it was ninety percent for sure. I looked it up on um, on a, on NASA, and they said ninety percent in New York City. Uh, Amy Davis has been watching from Bowling Green, Ohio. Now here, it should be getting brighter out here. I'm going to peek out the window here. I'm going to take two seconds to peek out the window. But we had our max darkness 15 minutes ago here. So I'm just going to peek out the window and see what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to leave you know, just a second here. Hold on. Hang on one second. Getting brighter here. Getting brighter here. 
Uh, Pico in Sepulveda says, we just saw it near Hickory, North Carolina. I mean, this in itself is really cool. Uh, you know, the, it's not just the total eclipse. If you're in Burlington, Vermont, or Carbondale, Illinois, and you can look up and see this, that's really cool. Just because it's not the total eclipse anymore doesn't mean it's still not really cool. Um, and it's just about ending in Kerrville, Texas. So what NASA just did is they just switched to Kerrville, Texas. And what you can see is that in Kerrville, I'm going to make this a little bigger here. See that? In Kerrville, it's just about over there. Just about over in Kerrville. Uh, it's a little obscured by the clouds there, but you're just seeing the moon. Uh, cloudy there. But the a little bit of the moon at the top there obscuring the sun. Right up, right up there. Just ending there in Kerrville, Texas. Pretty neat. Uh, Lily says it's getting brighter here in New Brunswick. Hey, thanks to uh, No One Needs to Know for your support. Really appreciate that. Captain Late Night says I'm not far from Kerrville. Just look around, see what other videos I have. Mm, that's the one I have right now. That one. I don't, the New York City video is over. I don't have that one anymore. I have these two. These are the two I have right now. I'll, I'll read some comments while I have a second here. It's been so busy. Uh, Evelyn in Maine uh, checked out her window. Jason Robinson says, we were supposed to be about 60% here in Orlando, Florida. Didn't seem to be a whole lot covered. Melissa Banks thinks it was way better than the 2017 eclipse. I don't even remember that um, in terms of like how much of the U.S. saw that eclipse, 2017. I have to look it up on Wikipedia or something. Uh, that was a total solar eclipse which spanned the contiguous United States from the Pacific to Atlantic coast. Wow. Prior to that event, says Wikipedia, in 2017, no solar eclipse had been visible across the entirety of the United States since 1918. Wow. So the total eclipse in 2017, you could see across the country. Um, this is from Wikipedia real quick. That is the 2017 eclipse right there. Chart. 2017 is right there. I don't really remember that. I don't remember where I was for that one. What I was doing uh, that day. Teresa says, I saw the 2017 or eclipse in Oregon. Uh, PZ says it just ended in Prince Edward Island, Canada. It's getting caught up here. Oh, they got that. Watch. Uh, there's going to be there's going to be a video from Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, on the right there from NASA, that's Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, that is, um, again, Burlington, Vermont, Cleveland, Ohio, they've already had the total eclipse. By the way, I can change the headline. Uh, total eclipse ends in U.S. cities.
I'll just say in United in US. I don't I don't think it's over. It ends in Mexico too, I assume. But it's not over in uh I don't know that it's over in Canada. I don't have confirmation that the total eclipses are not still going on in Canada. Uh Chalk Dust says amazing show in Indiana. Texas Mama Bear says, I'm really looking forward to hearing the official temperature drop from pre-partial eclipse to totality. Ryan the Gamer says, we had the eclipse in Havelock Marine Corp Corps Air Station, Cherry Point, North, North Carolina. Very cool. Thanks for your service. Ah, I have a picture here from Goose. Our viewer Goose sent in a picture. Goose says, my friend visited Canada all the way from Karachi, Pakistan. The clouds cleared and we saw it perfectly in Port Burwell, Ontario. Thanks, Goose, for writing in. Very cool. Our viewer Failure sent in this picture. Failure took a picture. Look at that. Wow. Nice picture from Failure. Uh, Christy sent in one from Columbia, South Carolina. That is from Christy. Thanks, Christy, for sending that in. Cool. And Jen Tower sent one in. She said, this is from Maine. My daughter took this one. Oh, sorry, there's no, I, it, it's muted. I did mute it. There's no muted. There's no sound on it that I'm playing. Something, there's some kind of not good sound on it. Thanks, Jen. The Moom said they were all clouds in Rochester, New York. Sorry about that, the Moom. That's what happens when it's cloudy. You don't see much. Uh, Dak Elliott sent this one in from Fort Worth, Texas. Look at that. Wow, very cool. Uh, Josh Shuala says, view from Oregon. I didn't think we'd see anything. You can see the moon covering some of the sun there from Josh Shuala. Thanks, sorry, I'm just getting caught up on some of these things people have sent me. Oh, uh, Linda Belk, one of our mods, was doing a, uh, she was doing a, they were doing this thing with, I think with the colander you can do it. This is very cool. So Linda Belk sent this in. So what you can do, I guess with a colander, it's like, you know, it has all these little holes in it. So each hole, the sun will poke through each, you know, the light will poke through each hole, I guess, and you see the eclipse uh, through the different holes of the colander. Each one, it's like a pinhole. It's like a pinhole uh, camera that you can make, but it's a bunch of them. That's cool. So she said her husband was holding the colander. There he is. Very neat. There you go. Really, really cool. One time I, went, I did the eclipse thing where I poked a hole like in a piece of cardboard and it actually did work like that. But uh, that's neat. Very cool, Linda. Uh, Joanna sent this from Jacksonville, Florida. She said she was in Jacksonville looking through a welding lens. I hope that was adequate to look through a welding lens. I can't speak to that. I know eclipse glasses are okay to do. I hope, I hope you get adequate protection with a, with a welding lens. I, I, I don't know, though. I'm not an expert on this stuff. Thanks, Joanna.
Dallas Alice sent a few pictures from Dallas. There you go. Thanks, Dallas. Oh, Derek Ellis sent in one with his, he said this was at max at 65.5% in Apache Junction, Arizona, through a pinhole camera. So Derek made a pinhole camera, and that's what you see. It's cool, actually. Very neat. Thanks, Derek. Uh, let's see here. Just going through some of the messages people sent. Uh, Austin who sent this this is from earlier today he said uh, this is what it looks like in Illinois right now that was earlier today thanks Austin for sending that in a lot of neat stuff I just saw this, by the way. I'll just let you know this real quick. Um, three people were killed in Summerlin, Nevada. Summerlin area, Nevada, when a, including a suspected shooter after a deposition turned violent at a local law office. So uh, I'm just passing that along. I, that, that happened uh, a couple hours ago, I think, at least. But I just was hearing about it now. So I'm just, I just reposted it if you want to see it. But that's from Channel 13 News Las Vegas. Is Summerlin in Las Vegas? Oh, Summerlin is in Las Vegas Valley. I guess it's outside of Las Vegas City. Anyways, I just wanted to pass that along. Oh, here is the current, here's the current radar loop. All right, there's the, ra the latest radar loop from NOAA. Look at that. So that you see the, ba the black area, the dark area of the eclipse moving across Mexico in the U.S. and up through Canada on the northeast, Can in, in the northeast, up through eastern, eastern Canada. That's the latest radar loop there. Pretty amazing. Uh, thank you to Jesse for your support. Appreciate it, Jesse. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. So, uh, one of our viewers, Ghost Contact Paranoid, says anyone under totality right now? Um, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, it's not in the U.S. I don't believe they are. 
Oh, I think NASA might be ending there. Is NASA ending there? Oh, are they ending their uh, thing, NASA? I think NASA NASA's ending their live, their live broadcast of the their live uh, telescope shot. I think. So we have to get that off the screen. All right. So we're gonna do the. Looks like that's good done. So we're now we now have this one from Burlington, Vermont from time and date via Reuters. That's the one we have. That's the last, I think this is the last shot we have for you. Right there. Let me check and see what other ones I have. Yeah, that's the only one I have right now. Is the one you're looking at. Uh, thank you to Lou Ann. Lou Ann says, what, what an incredible day. Hey, thanks so much, Lou Ann. That's really nice of you. Thank you. Uh, Des Teeny says, I'm in New Brunswick. It just finished here. Well, I should look. Canada Eclipse Times. I was trying to find like a table for like the times. I had a table for the times in the U.S., but not in Canada. I mean, there's clearly still a partial eclipse in Burlington, Vermont. You can see it on the screen. Yeah, uh, Ricky says, never saw so many eclipses one after the other. It was pretty crazy seeing so many of them. So many total eclipses. I'm checking through some of the messages now, too. Sorry. Um... Thanks to everybody who sent stuff in. Uh, Derek Ellis wrote in and said that when we were showing the Niagara Falls shot, they showed somebody proposing. <laughs> that was at 3.24 p.m., he said. Here, Derek sent this in. I, I missed this. Maybe you guys saw it. Um, here, look. That supposedly was... Derek says that was on our stream at 3.24 p.m. at Niagara Falls. I might have been, like, looking out the window or something. There's, no, no, I wasn't looking out the window. I was here, but there was clearly a lot going on. So I did... I guess that might have happened. <laughs> Thanks, Derek, for letting me know. Oops. Uh, Gary, Fa Gary Fatterson sent a photo in. Hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to show it to you. This is from Gary Fatterson. He sent that one. I think that was in Austin. Thanks, Gary. So that was in Austin, Texas. Sorry, just going through here. It's been so busy. I haven't had a chance to look at the messages, all of them. So I appreciate people writing in. Some people sent some photos, which I've been trying to show. 
Oh, Saul Aguilar wrote in from Maryland with some photos. He said, this is from Hyattsville, Maryland. That's from Hyattsville, Maryland from Saul. Thanks, Saul. Very cool. Oh, I, you know, I didn't even, I just found this. Matthew Grindle wrote to me and said NASA had a plane that was following the eclipse. Maybe a lot of people were tracking it. I didn't even know that. Sorry, I just saw that right now. So much going on during the stream. Uh, hang on a moment here. Uh, here's a picture from Richardson, Texas, from Tracy. She sent this one in. That's from Tracy there. Sorry. It's a little. Oh, no, that's sorry. There, you go. there it is. That's from Tracy. Thanks, Tracy. Sorry, it took me a little while to get to a bunch of these messages. Just been so busy during the stream. Appreciate people sending those in. What is this? Oh, one of our viewers said it's in Newfoundland now. Hang on, I can probably check this. I have a Stephen Christian mentioned this. You know, I, I can use the um, I can use the NASA site to check where it is right now. I forgot about that. And I have a map. Uh, hold on, I'm going to check this right now. I forgot about this. Okay, if you look here, this is NASA Eclipse Explorer, and it says we're at 4.08 p.m. So we're basically a little after that. Uh, where'd it go? Well, I don't, now I don't know where it is. What happened to the thing? Actually, it said, it said, it, it said that's 3.28 Eastern time. That's where the circle is. So according to this, oh, why does it disappear? I'm sorry. That's 405. According to this according to NASA, it says 405 Eastern time and it says that the the totality would be here, which would mean that nowhere in Canada is any longer in the totality. That's according to this site. So, as far as the site says, if I'm doing it right. Yeah, that's 349 right there. And there's the totality. So I'm assuming there's no more totality in Canada. That'd be my assumption, uh, if, the, if that is accurate there. Oh, thank you to Beth Arlington. Thank you so much, Beth. I really appreciate that. And Craig Dubs. Oh, Craig said that the live shot from New York was on top of Hudson Yards in New York. Thank you, Craig. I appreciate that, Craig Dubs. 
Thank you so much, Beth. Very nice of you. Uh, Illit says that was really something to see in person. Oh, there's a uh, Matthew said you can click on live. Uh, Illit says that was really something to see in person in Buffalo live. Where's live? Oh, there's live. Yes, I'm sorry. As our viewer mentioned, you can on this thing click on live, which I did, and it takes you to that's 410. Where is the where is it? Where is the thing? Where'd it go? Like disappeared. See, if you do this and then you click on live, it like disappears. Anyways, maybe this isn't really working properly. That says 342 there, and that says 354. So my assumption is that we might be all, it's a little messed up. Why does it say 354? 349, 401 it says there. I think it might be done in Canada is what I'm saying based on this. That's what that suggests. Uh, somebody said after Eclipse traffic is crazy. Uh, I can tell you this. So there is some... If you look up here in like in northern Vermont in northern, so this is Vermont in New Hampshire where people were watching it. And on the right side, uh, this would be, it looks like there's maybe people who are leaving there and heading back down south, right? Because you can see on the right side, which would be the going south, there's traffic here, all this traffic here and traffic here and traffic here. So I assume that's people who were up in northern Vermont and New Hampshire uh, watching the eclipse and now going back down. That'd be my assumption. Miller's cold one says was pretty cool. Glitch McConnell says just leave before it is over to beat, to beat the traffic. I mean, you could. It's like in Burlington, Vermont, it's still going on. It's just that... Uh, partial eclipse now. Maybe some people just took off real quick. Um, our viewer, Jay Poo, says, just saw it here in Dallas, and wow, seriously, one of the most incredible things I've witnessed. Yeah, I mean, it must be incredible to see it in person, especially see the totality in person. Thanks, Joe Gator, for your kind words. We cover all kinds of live news here at Agenda Free TV. If you like live breaking news coverage without an agenda. Our viewer, the one and only, said we got a little dark in Georgia. Our viewer, Paul Michael Hale, says I got it totality with four minutes. Yeah, this is the last video I have, is this one. This is the last one. From Reuters and Time and Date. I don't have any other videos besides this. Uh, Marie says, I, will, well, I was able to take a pic. I think like the whole country was watching this. I mean, you, you know, not not out watching it, but a lot of people were in their area checking it out or watching it on TV. It was a big deal here. Jen says, saw totality in 2017. It was amazing. I'll never forget. By the way, if you want to know when we go live for our broadcast, I mean, today I knew we were going on the air because of this. Normally, I just go on the air when there's big breaking news. Um, 
and I don't know when that's going to be. We actually have a notifications system set up. It's free. We, we set it up ourselves that if you sign up and it's free, you get sent a notification whenever we go live, right before we go live, because I don't know when we're going live. Depends on when the breaking news is. So if you're interested in signing up for that, the mods will post that link in the chat to our free notifications. It's done through Discord. If you want, you can put the Discord app on your phone like I do, and then you'll get the notification on your phone. But those work really well. Um, and that way you get a notification whenever we go live. Because I, who knows when, st when, uh, when stuff is going to happen. But today we knew. Today we knew. Today was like the rare day. Oh, they, they switched the camera there. Over there on Reuters. Very cool. Uh, thanks, Paulette is passing it on, but appreciate everybody uh, joining today and, com and commenting in the chat. Uh, Jemmy says, Jemmel says, Dayton, Ohio, that was awesome sauce. Trying to read some more of these comments. Thanks, Sharonator, for subscribing on Twitch over there. Uh, Mc, McBritches says, I was, I'm was i lucky enough, this is my second time seeing totality. The next total eclipse in the 48 mainland United States, the next total eclipse in the 48 continental United States, is it continental? Is that what they're called? Lower 48 states? In the 48 non-Alaska Hawaii states, the next total eclipse is 2044 in 20 years. That's total eclipse. Uh, Ledger Germain says, totality is something you rec remember for the rest of your life. X pager says I was in 99% range, got pretty dark and went from like 75 degrees to 60. Uh, Illit says that uh, was, uh, Illit was in Buffalo, New York, watching it. Cool. Um, Zeno Witch says the sky was clear while the eclipse was here. Now it's cloudy. Perfect timing. All, the partial eclipse almost over there in Burlington, Vermont, as you can see. Some people are mentioning that spot on that camera. I, I don't know anything about it. Some people are saying, like, that's a sunspot. Uh, but I don't know about that. So I won't, I won't uh, try to comment on that. Things I don't know of. Uh, National Weather Service says sunspots are areas where the magnetic field is about 2,500 times stronger than Earth's, much higher than anywhere else on the sun. And it says, because of the strong magnetic field, the magnetic pressure increases while the surrounding atmospheric pressure decreases. This, in turn, lowers the temperature relative to its surroundings. Uh, Wikipedia says sunspots are regions of reduced surface temperature caused by concentrations of magnetic flux that inhibit convection. I don't know if you're seeing a sunspot there. I don't know enough about it. But uh, anyways,
just checking here for any updates. Eve Richards says, so glad to have been a part of this. Thanks, Eve. Take a few more comments here. Uh, R. Bostic says, saw 82%-ish in Charlotte, North Carolina. Temp dropped a bit. Nothing major. Was cool, though. Get it? I'll see myself out. Ava says, totality was amazing. Lisa S. says, we had 96% here. The coolest part for me was seeing everyone coming out of their houses to look. Austin says, oh, thanks, Austin, for sending the photo, by the way. Austin says, this is my first time seeing a total eclipse in person. It was awesome. Uh, Teresa Mai says, she is in uh, Beaver Creek, Ohio. Was nice to see, was nice to my second time. Frank thinks the next eclipse won't be as long or as impressive as this one was. I don't know about that. Are you talking about the 2044 one? I have no idea. <coughs> Yeah, you know, in terms of continental U.S., what I was, I started to say continental U.S. about the 48 states, not Alaska and Hawaii. But then I was like, isn't Alaska in the same continent as the other 40, as, as, as the non-Hawaii states? I mean, I did look it up on Google and it says North American continent. Alaska occupies the northwestern portion of the North American continent. So continental U.S. should include Alaska, should it not? This is where I got confused when I said continental United States. Contiguous. That sounds better. Contiguous is daily disclosure. Contiguous United States. That's right. There we go. Contiguous United States. The 48 adjoining states. Good job, chat. New continental sounded wrong. I said lower 48 originally, but then I was like, but it's not lower than Hawaii. <laughs> I think it, lower 48 is, is used, especially in relation to Alaska. Wikipedia says lower 48 is commonly used for contiguous United States. But just to be clear, uh, latitude lies, Hawaii is lower than many states. It's just about ending there in Burlington, Vermont. We'll keep it up there. It's the last shot we have, guys. We're going to keep it up there for now. How can we not after going through all this? Actually, you know what? I think I'm wrong about though. I might be I might be wrong about Hawaii. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Let's look at Hawaii. 
Hawaii, if we go here, uh, I need the latitude and longitude. Are any of the states lower than Hawaii? Is any of Florida lower than Hawaii? I don't know. I'd have to get the latitude and longitude up here. Uh, where do I get latitude and longitude lines? I, I can't even find it. Let me go back. Let me just go back to the eclipse and I'll do this on my own. Oh, um, Wikipedia talks about this. They say in Wikipedia, almost all of Hawaii, almost all of Hawaii is south of the southernmost point of the coterminous United States and Florida. So some of Hawaii is technically north of, Flor of some of Florida. That's according to Wikipedia. So that's, that's why technically, if you say lower 48 states, it doesn't really exclude Hawaii. Anyways. All right, we're staying with this. We're staying with this shot. Probably just a few minutes left here. Taking a few more comments. I mean, if we made it this far, we might as well stick it out until, until we lose, until this partial eclipse is over in Burlington, Vermont, because this is the last video we have. Maybe I can go back and show you the, that marriage proposal that we seem to have accidentally caught on camera. That was at 324, I guess. Here it is right here. Look, I guess this is it. Uh, replay. This is from earlier. This is from earlier. Check this out. Um, that's, the, that's Niagara Falls. See the guy's on his knee and she is crying. Look, and I think he's asking her to marry him. <laughs> I think. There it is. I missed that when it happened. Oh, now they're hugging. This was this was like at 3.24 p.m. It's like an hour ago. There they are. Did I miss the first part of it? Oh, there it is right there. Watch right here, right here. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, there you go. Thanks. Derek Ellis originally mentioned that. Thank you, Derek. That was on the Reuters feed. Just a few minutes left, guys, uh, on this last camera shot that we have today, I think. Emily Flotilla, thank you. Neato. Neat. By the way, I do also have a personal channel uh, where I cover non-news stuff. Well, I don't cover non-news stuff. On this channel, I cover news stuff. On the personal channel, I cover, uh, don't cover anything. I just do some um, uh, non-news live streams, like if it's a slower news day. So that personal channel, real quick, is called Lookner on YouTube and Look Nerd with a D on Twitch. Lookner on YouTube, Look Nerd on Twitch. Um, I am going to be going out of town sound for a few days soon. Uh, I'm going to be in Florida, uh, but I will have my laptop with me. So if there's 
big news. I should be able to jump on and do a, an agenda-free TV stream from my laptop. It might not look the exact same, but hopefully it'll be okay. Um, uh, certainly, uh, when I travel, there will be some times when I can't get on, like if I'm sitting on a plane. So I do apologize in advance for any streams I might miss. But in addition to being able to jump on and cover news, I am planning on doing some live streams like I did when we were in Paris and I was walking around and doing some live streams there in Paris. Uh, I am planning on doing some live streaming from Florida uh, on my personal channel, not on Agenda Free TV. So, uh, but again, when I'm there, I will have my laptop with me. So if there's big news, I will jump on and cover it there. Just again, I apologize if I'm sitting on an airplane and something happens and I can't cover it. So just be aware that that could happen. Must only be a couple minutes now. Um, our viewer, Sweet Melbar, says, just had totality here in northern New York. It was so much more amazing than I was expecting. Would have been terrifying to not know what was happening. I don't even think you can conceive of how terrifying it would be. Because, like, if you lived in the past and you didn't even know that this kind of thing was possible, and you didn't know it was going to happen, and you didn't know why it was happening, like, it's hard to even, like, uh, it's hard to even imagine having an experience like that now. Again, if you didn't know that eclipses existed, and you didn't know they were going to happen, and you didn't know why they were happening, like, and then it happened. I, I, how would you even make sense of it? Yeah, now also, people could have gotten their eyes hurt, as one of our viewers just said. If they looked at it, right, they wouldn't know not to look at it. That's true, too. Uh, and probably they, people might have told other people, and other people wouldn't believe them. If you traveled and told somebody else, somebody may be like, may be like what are you talking about? But it's like it's I don't even think you can even conceive of how crazy that would be. Oh, thanks to Sherry Riddle. Thanks, Sherry. I'm glad you enjoyed the coverage. I'm glad we were to show you all these different eclipse shots. That was fun. All right, we're getting close, but it's still, we still have a little partial eclipse left there in Burlington, Vermont, via Reuters and time and date. Our viewer, RLDW, says they would probably think the world is ending. Storm Laughter says astrology has been figuring out the date of eclipses for a couple thousand years. Yeah, I wonder how far back they could do it. I mean... Uh, there's a lot of astrology done like in the ancient, astro I think it meant astronomy. I'm not astrology, astronomy. Um, but there was a lot of um, astronomy being done in the ancient world. Astronomy.com says... Uh, humans have been predicting eclipses for thousands of years. So I was trying to find a simple answer to this. Oh, look, um, so uh, Wikipedia says eclipse of Thales. One of our viewers might have mentioned this. Wikipedia says the eclipse of Thales was a solar eclipse that was, according to the ancient Greek historian Herodotus, accurately predicted by the Greek philosopher Thales of Miletus. Uh, 
If Herodotus' account is accurate, the eclipse is the earliest recorded as being known in advance of its occurrence. Many historians believe the predicted eclipse was the solar eclipse in May 28, 585 BC. So that would be, you know, 2,500 years ago. But of course, even at that time, most people would not, even if, 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 if it was uh, predicted by somebody, most people in the world probably would not have heard this prediction and, not, and, and, and still been like, you know, not have known it was going to happen. Last few seconds, said the, our viewer, the time-lapse sketchbook. Yep, right there, we're just a little bit left. I'm sure there's some other places, maybe in Canada, like where they have some more of the sun is covered by the moon at this point. But this is our last, our last live shot we have. Oh, look at that. Wow, they just went to the, look at what they did. That. They went to the close-up shot over there at time and date. The Reuters, they went to the close-up shot uh, to show us What's happening? Again, I'm using this footage via Reuters. Maybe they'll zoom in again. Oh, guys, look at that. It's just ending. Oh, my gosh. The Burlington, Vermont eclipse is just about over. Oh, it's so little now. It's just about gone. Just about gone. That's it. I think that's just about it, guys, for Burlington, Vermont. There you go. Holton, Maine. Uh, we had Holton, Maine before NASA had it, but I don't have it anymore. That was the last. This is the last shot I have access to, I think. Yeah, this is it. I, I don't know that they'll go to another one after this. I think this might be it. NASA ended their coverage a little while ago. Sad. Sad. Thank you, JoJo777JLD. Glad you were here for the stream. Thank you so much. We'll see if they have any other shots. By the way, let's shout out our moderators while we, we'll, we'll wait and see if they have anything else. Uh, let's shout out our moderators who have been here all day. Uh, chat rooms have been really busy and really appreciate our moderators who've been here. Linda Belk and Larry on X. Thank you so much. That is why we can have chat rooms. We couldn't have them without the moderators. So such an important part of the channel. Lyra Stars, RJ, Danny James over there on uh, YouTube, Ruth Crafasi. Huge thanks to our mods. Thank you. Uh, over there on Twitch, uh, we have or had, hang on a second here, uh, Daily Disclosure, LB Prairie Dawn, McBritches, Papa Bear, and Surly Dev. And all of our other ones who've been there, Kay Lowry Body, Christina Neal, um, Margaret Riley, all of our mods, thank you. Shout out to, to our, uh, thanks so much to everybody who donated to the channel. That is really kind of you guys. I really appreciate that. Check the satellite picture out. Here's the satellite picture from Noah. I mean, you can see that it's kind of cleared out of there. There's there, you can see the, uh, the loop. That, that dark spot is the, is the eclipse darkness passing across. So again, thanks to everybody for your support of the channel. Uh, you're the ones who let this channel exist. I really appreciate it. If you ever want to donate, you go to agendafree.tv, agendafree.tv. But much appreciated. Thanks for letting this channel exist. Um, also, um, thanks to, as I go back here, uh, thanks to our, uh, all of our subscribers over there on Facebook and Twitch and our members on YouTube. 
Uh, subscribers on Facebook like Eve Richards, Michael Clayton, thank you. Billy Joe Drage, Duster Singer, Margaret Riley, Kay Lowry Body. All of our uh, Facebook subscribers and our other viewers like Ann Hajnacki. Others on Twitch are subscribers there. Really appreciate you. Beautiful Profanity. Annie Cush. Wall Street. I got that fire. Shaggy. Daddy Dino. Thanks also Candy Weagle for watching over there on Twitch. Tegrity Farmer Bob, one of our subscribers. Um, Unleash Flutes, Sharonator, uh, Shorn, uh, thanks Turbo Mania, tur sorry, Turbo, Turbinilunia, Turbinilunia for the bits, Beautiful Profanity for the gift sub. Oh, Sharonator gave a bunch of subs out. Thank you, Sharonator. Very nice of you. And all of our uh, all of our Twitch subscribers, thank you. Brad R., thank you so much, Brad R. Appreciate your support, thank you. And Ellen Rees as well from the UK. Thank you, Ellen Rees and Jay Marie, our member. Cedric uh, Sylvester as well from Canada. Sylvester says those were sunspots. Spots 3628 was easily visible, 3633 much smaller. A number of our viewers said the sun there was a sunspot 3628. Maybe that is true. That is not my uh not my area of expertise. So thank you so much. I uh, also want to thank our YouTube members. Thanks YouTube members like uh, Laura G, Ricky Jins. Yeah, Ricky says we should thank the sun and the moon for putting on such a good, great show, yeah. Uh, Ken Alloway, Connor Murphy, maybe, maybe members over there on YouTube, Majo, Mojo's Cosmos, Winding Road, Sherry Riddle, Dean R, Posse Musica, Sherry S, Paul Rayner, Ben Foster, Janet Burnett, Marty Hagwood, Choo Choo 405, Paula Faust, Lurker Smurf, Anna Anna, Ghost of Putin. These are just some of our members on YouTube. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Headcrab, Lunali Syria, uh, Trav, Frank McLeod, the one and only Constant Creek Freedom, Hot Pink 90 Sun, Dean R, Bree M, Marin Gobra, Rhiannon Stay, Headcrab. Constant Creek Freedom. I already said that one. It's okay. Sherry S. Sweet Mail Bar. All of our members. Thank you. Juno 130. Gene. Nebi. Colonel Panic. Pixel Panda. Thanks, Ram Ram Ram, for subscribing on Twitch. I don't think we're getting anything else. They haven't ended this. They haven't ended the coverage, but uh, I don't. We we don't seem to be getting any other videos. I think it might be time, guys. I don't have any other. This is the last stream I have, and it's it's in Bur in Burlington. It's over, so I think we're going to end up wrapping it up now. I think it's time. I have no other eclipse feeds to show you. They're all done that I have. If there's big news tonight, we'll come on the air and cover it. Uh, thanks to our member Laura G, uh, our member Ken Alloway. Subscribe and follow Agenda Free TV. Again, we have to cover all kinds of live breaking news. Um, we have, uh, again, sign up to our free notifications so you get notified whenever we're going live. The mods will post the link to sign up for the free notifications in the chat. And also you can turn on notifications like whatever platform you're watching. on. Our, our free notifications work like really well, though. <laughs> They're really reliable. But, you know, for example, if you're watching over there on YouTube and you subscribe to the channel, Make sure you turn the notifications on on the platform itself. Those are different notifications. It's weird. On YouTube, you have to like click this bell thing. See, there's this bell. Oops. There's this bell here on YouTube, and you click it, and then you check all notifications. So if you're watching on a certain platform, oops, you can uh, make sure you have the notifications turned on there too. Uh, I will post... Um, 
I don't know that there'll be any big uh, eclipse updates, but if there's big news and I'm not on the year, well, if there's big enough news, I'll come on the year. But when I'm not on the year, I post news updates on my X account, which is at Lookner. Oops, which is, sorry, this thing is a little funky here. At Lookner on X, at Lookner on X. Also follow at Agenda Free TV on X. I always post on the Agenda Free TV X account. Post when we're going live at Agenda Free TV. But I'll post news items on my X account. Okay. Appreciate you all, all watching and chatting and being here. Fun watching with you. Scott Hare sent a photo. Scott said, best I got. Oops. Scott, Scott said, where is it here? Sorry. Best I got from Connecticut before a cloud cover. Thanks, Scott. I don't know if I showed this one. Dak Elliott said he said he took this in Fort Worth, Texas. So I wanted to show his as well. Fort Worth, Texas from Dak Elliott. Thank you. All right. I think it might be our time. I think it might be our time, guys. It's been quite a day. It's been quite an eclipse day here today. All right. Uh, thanks, Joe Gator. Thanks to all of our viewers. Paula Faust. Joe Bishop. Austin Who. Uh, Lil Fizzy, A Infinite. Sung Hoa over there on Twitch. Thank you. The Gnome. Thanks, viewers. Taryn Herring. Jane Summers. All right, guys, we're wrapping it up. It's our time. We are ending the stream now. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, really appreciate you joining us for our live solar eclipse coverage. Hey, if the channel still exists in, in 20 years, however technology works then, who knows? If it still exists in 20 years, we'll cover the 2044, 2044 <laughs> eclipse using our space age technology. Anyways, but uh, we, cover some, uh, we cover some other space stuff sometimes too, like launches and stuff sometimes. But uh, for now... That's it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here today. Really appreciate it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm with the viewer who said, let's thank the sun and the moon for the show they put on. All right, guys. That is it for now. Uh, you've been watching uh, our live solar eclipse coverage here at Agenda Free TV, and we will see you soon with more live breaking news coverage. <laughs>